I just realized you guys couldn't hear me. I'm a total dork. There we go. Hi, friends. Hello, hello. How are you guys doing? Um, let me just put this on one more thing just so I can see you guys. Boom. Perfect. Okay. Um, for anyone who, uh, on the court, I'm closing out Discord, so if you need me, just let me know. But I think for the most part, we'll be good. Um, okay. Perfect. I'm just closing out all my tabs, so I'm somewhat organized. Perfect. Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. Oh, wrong one. Hi, everyone. Hello, uh, welcome to our midnight party. I'm so excited. Are you guys excited? I can't believe I can't believe it's here. I feel like so many of us have been waiting for this day and it's finally here. Um, I cannot wait for you guys to read this book. Uh, I was very lucky and got my copy. It's downstairs um, early this morning. So I've been reading it, but it is a completely spoiler free. In fact, I won't even give you guys any sort of hints tonight. So um, just wanna say that off the bat, um, I know there are a few of us that you will see in the live stream uh, where we do have our copies, but we will uh, remain spoiler free. So, and there are, for anyone who's wondering, filters set on YouTube. Uh, so you can't even type certain words in the chat. And if we see them, we do delete them. So I really, really am very um, uh, careful about that. Okay, Slido code is here. Um, also, your code tonight is Starborn. So if you want to go to Slido, the code is Starborn. I just want to give you a quick heads up on what you can expect for tonight. So the first thing we're going to do in about five, or oh, pretty soon, I'm going to bring in Avery and, um, which I need to put my headphones in. Hold on a second. Whoop. Where is my system? Seen the system. I forgot you guys had music going. There we go. Um, I'm going to put my headphones in uh, and uh, Avery and Rachel are going to come in. We're going to do a 10 minute recap of Earth and Blood. So we're just going to kind of go over things that we feel like are certain, certain uh, feel like are super important things. We kind of want to remind you guys about of Earth and Blood. Um, so we're going to spend about 10 minutes on that. Then we're going to do some trivia. The trivia is going to be a little different than what you've experienced in the past. If you've been in a live with me, um, I'm just going to read out the questions because there is a weird delay between YouTube and um, the live stream itself. And so, um, I'm just going to read them out. Um, you guys are welcome to just kind of answer them. I'm going to have some guests come in. They're also going to be answering them at the same time. Uh, so there's no grand prize for like the most answered. Um, but at the end, we are then going to do a giveaway portion. Um, the way that's going to work is it's a survey. So you just need to fill out some certain survey questions. Um, and then I will pull the answers at the end of the night and pick a winner from there. So just so you guys know, that's kind of how we're doing it. Um, there is a also a this or that that we are gonna do on Slido, which is using the quiz feature. Um, and that portion, by the way, it's gonna say that there's a correct answer. There is no correct answer. It's just, I am, they're just fun little questions that are this or that, so you guys can kind of answer them. Um, and then for the most part, it's going to be a lot of uh, just kind of us kind of talking about Crescent City, our love for it, any last minute theories we have. And then throughout the night, um, like I said, our code is Starborn. Um, so if you want to put in a question or you want us to kind of talk about a specific topic, you can do that at any point on Slido and I'll be periodically checking it out. So if you have something you want us to discuss or you have something um, that you want us to answer, we are happy to do that. Um, also, what's pretty cool is Alex, who is going to be joining us. She literally finished the book like I think an hour ago. So like it's very fresh for her. So we'll also just kind of talk to her a little bit about that experience. Um, but I am very excited to kind of have you guys here. And I'm literally going to put my headphones on now because I'm about to bring in Avery and Rachel. So let me go ahead and bring both of them in so you guys can see them. Hi guys. Hello. How are you? I'm here. Hang on. I gotta. You're good. Don't worry. Okay. I'm good. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Um, are you guys excited? Yeah. 
Have you, uh, so I know Rachel has her copy. She's probably the farthest in our group right now. And then Mm -hmm. uh, Avery, I know you also got your copy. We just got way too lucky, this group. Um, And you're a little behind me. So like all of us were like, but again, just to remind everyone, we are spoiler free to the point that there are filters in place and um, a lot of other things. So do not worry tonight throughout it. But I wanted to bring these lovely ladies on because I know that a lot of us, at least the three of us in the group, really kind of focused in on um, making sure that we knew our recaps and we (laughs) were kind of prepped. So I wanted to just kind of let us collectively as a group kind of discuss things that we felt like were really important or things that like in our rereads we kind of forgot about. Um, So first thing I'm going to start us off with is part one. So part one, um, what do you guys, as I pull up the doc really quick, because I realized I literally just closed it out two seconds ago. Um, (laughs) What are things that you guys feel like you remember or things that you felt are really important to kind of discuss? Because part one was a big info dump section. Yeah. Um, Obviously the breakdown of the houses is pretty important, but um, I mean, if we're doing like brief recap, the wish that Danica and Bryce made is super important. So yeah. So for those of you that don't remember, the book starts with um, Danica and Bryce in the and uh, Griffin Antiquities. Um, and Danica is pretty upset because uh, they just found out that Philip Briggs, who is one of the rebellions, he's being released. Um, the Pack of Devils, which is the pack that Danica follows, um, they were the ones that are releasing or they were the ones that captured Phillips. And so the, it's a little bit of a contentious thing. Um, and uh, Bryce basically is kind of trying to calm Danica down, but also like make sure it's OK. And then that's when we get the massive info dump which is when they walk to the gates Mm -hmm. um so that is kind of i feel like that second chapter in part one is probably the most important because that was the big um info dump um and then um we quickly go into the date with reed render yeah so i think that it's important to know you know just kind of the hierarchies in the world good point um they really so basically um the way that midgard is set up Midgard is a planet. There are two continents that we know of, Pangera and Valbara. Mm-hmm. Pangera is where there's this huge war raging between the human rebellion and human sympathizers and the Asteri who run Midgard writ large. They're basically, um, they are all powerful beings, um, They contain the might of a star within each of them and they're hella scary. Um, (laughs) Yeah. And so everyone else is sort of a figurehead put in place by the Asteri. Mm -hmm. So everybody falls under them and humans are very, very low on the totem pole. Yeah. Yes. And the other interesting thing too, which um, even though it feels like when you go to Crescent City, it's all very kind of like interconnected, they live in their own kind of sections. Um, yeah. So Bryce as a half human, half fae is a little conflicted because she feels sympathetic towards the human side, but also, you know, has, I believe it in the very beginning of the book is um, she has the full civitas of a fae for yeah. um, Sky and Breath. Yeah, that was a... Um... Uh, a um i'm not gonna think of the right word but it's it was a requirement yes for her to come uh her dad decided that she was going to be if she was going to be full civitas it would have to be under sky and breath and not under earth and blood yeah and the other thing too oh go ahead rachel that's okay i was just gonna say so speaking of her dad it's really important to note um you know bryce as the main character has always been pulled between her mom who yeah. like absconded with her when she was three and like took her away from all of this, you know, political stuff to protect her. Yeah. Um, and a lot of that, I mean, we're going like non-linear. Yeah, that's fine. Right? Go for it. Okay. So a lot of that had to do with her starborn gifts that they were trying yeah. to hide yeah. from her dad because yeah. her yeah. dad, the autumn King, mm-hmm. um, is very very competitive with his children because he wants to remain in power so the dynamic between bryce and rune is super important because they've been set up to be rivals even though like they don't want to be that yeah Um, well well, then and on no go ahead oh no i was just gonna say the other thing too is uh, important to note at least i noticed at the beginning is the only person that knows that she is 
uh, Rune's sister is Danica. And that yes. is, um, I that is from at least, I don't think it's ever really explained, but I just assumed because she lived with her in college and they were dorm mates, like it was just something that was like hard to keep a secret from. Um, so Danica is one of the very few people that knows the truth, whereas everyone just assumes that she's like a distant cousin, um, mm-hmm. which kind of explains their like, weird connection um because i'm sure people would wonder like why does rune hang out with this chick all the time um right and no one really questions it and it's just kind of this thing but obviously being her very close dear friend danica knows the truth around it um the truth about it which i think was so sad when she did die because it was one of the few people that knew the truth about bryce right the the imbalance in their relationship is really important too because danica knows everything about bryce she knows all of her secrets and throughout earth and blood Bryce comes to realize more and more that she has no idea what Danica has been up to yes that's such a good point because I I felt like and I don't know if you guys felt this way but there was so much information at the beginning of that first part and you really felt like you knew Danica and then as the story progressed in earth and blood you were like I don't know Danica and I thought by the end of earth and blood I knew all of Danica and then SJM released that uh quote a few weeks ago that was like Danica is still like hiding things and I was like how are we gonna learn more so it's like even now that she's been dead like like we're still learning more about her she's a sneaky 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 lady yeah um one of the Go ahead. Oh, I was just going to say, the only other big thing I want to point out for part one is um, obviously uh, once she breaks up with uh, Reed Render, Dana goes out with Fury and Juniper. They take a ton of different drugs. Danica gets super, super high, or not Danica, sorry. Bryce gets super, super high, uh, ends up at the house, um, and it... uh, it's every all the pack is dead and then my favorite little like it makes no sense crossover but i loved it anyway was the fact that bryce used a table leg which is what rowan uses in queen of shadows and then goes after the demon (laughs) because of course i I noticed that so but um (laughs) did any like this was the funny thing when you go back and you read because you know the angel is micah i i it's still like it kind of clicked to me because of how serious they took that call but the first time i read it i was just like oh whatever like it's just an angel um so obviously we know that the angel is micah yeah no Um, we know that isaiah and hunt are the ones who come yes right the other really really important thing that we need to remember from um those first couple of chapters is philip briggs yes so um philip briggs you know ends up being sort of like an unimportant character overall Mm -hmm. um in house of earth and blood because he's cleared um but his connection to the human rebellion and the politics of, you know, who's how, not even whose house, but like, um, whose ruler yeah. sides with the rebellion and who sides with the Asteri and, you know, the way that Hunt is in the middle of it all because yeah. he used to, he was part of that initial rebellion, you know, yes. all of that Philip Briggs re- rebel stuff is yeah. really important the other thing too which is something i noticed the first time or, or the second time around this time when i reread was the first time we meet hunt is actually a chapter in isaiah's point of view and isaiah yeah. brings up the fact that even in all the years he's known hunt before they were slaves before they had that slave tattoo he's always felt this weird feeling that he's like monstrous and i was like why does so it's always been this question in my head of like why does another angel view another angel as like a monster even before all this stuff happened with Shahar and all that? So um, it's very interesting because I think we all just assumed it was Hunt and I didn't realize until I reread it. I was like, oh, it's Isaiah. Like that's his point of view. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the final chapter in part one is when uh, Bryce goes and she pays the fee to the under king to then um, allow Danica the passage. So <sighs> that's still like, makes gives me the heebie-jeebies so i don't know what yeah. that's gonna happen but well so the whole what happens to someone after they die mm-hmm. and the bone quarter yes that is important um and okay. so just knowing that like in this world the view is that souls that are um worthy cross over the istros river mm-hmm. to the bone quarter and find their sort of like green pasture over there somewhere. Mm, But everybody is terrified of 
the under king and the bone quarter and reapers that live there and yeah. you know all these things um mm-hmm. but like the worst thing that could happen to someone is that their their boat tips over yes. on the way to the bone quarter and their soul never makes it there which is so terrifying all of that is he <laughs> Yeah, and the the I think there was I didn't notice this too again until the second time, but there's so much mention of reapers, and I was always like, yeah. I want to know more about the reapers. So I'm hoping we do get more information in this second book, or even whenever we get, I'm assuming a flame and shadow book. So like, just because it <laughs> it feels like uh, an important piece. Um, yeah. So then going into part two, which is a bit of a of a long one, I'm going to kind of just skim really quickly. But big chapters that I thought were super important is obviously the very first chapter with the Autumn King in his office because he's got all those weird bottles yes. and all this like funky stuff. And yeah. for anyone who doesn't remember, the context is is that Rune is summoned there and he's telling mm-hmm. Rune that he um, is engaged to Hypaxia, the uh, future queen, the witch queen. And surprise, um, yeah, <laughs> surprise, <laughs> you have a you're you've been betrothed. And um, <laughs> the other thing is that uh, there's qu- I didn't realize this the first time around, but the second time around, there's so much mention of like obviously the Autumn King is also setting up for the war, like he's trying to get his ducks in a row. Um, yeah, he's being strategic for sure, yeah. And so, and then he also is using Rune's starborn gift to kind of work on some of his exper- experiments and it's really hard for Rune to summon it. In fact, it gives him like a headache anytime he does. Yeah. So And he mentions that it's just like a small kernel. Yes. A kernel. Uh, one of SJM's favorite words. The other uh, thing that, you know, is important in the Autumn King's office is this model of the planets. Yes. Um yeah. so there are seven planets circling a sun. Um mm-hmm. and you know there's kind of like this I'll let y'all go no I'll talk about that no I well to be fair like it's so hard like I don't even really understand I was like oh planets okay just it's planets um but what I thought was weird was um you know who else has a planetarium in his office is uh Reese um (laughs) Yeah, Agatha Encyclopedia. So sorry. <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that until she brought it up when we were doing the notes in the River House it's... in Silver Flames. He, of course, Reese has a fully gold one. <laughs> of course he does. It's also incredibly interesting to note, just for funsies, um, because of who I am as a person and how my brain works. That when the when Nesta goes to retrieve the harp in Akasif the harp is at the center and it's surrounded by um they mentioned like stars and celestial bodies and stuff like that and then cassie makes like the offhanded remark that it's like well this is the night court or whatever so such a himbo but i love him to death Um, (laughs) yeah okay so then the other thing i um another huge chapter in the second part is the luna's temple chapter so this is a lot this is rune's point of view of giving really the information about the starborn why the fae and the um the wolves have the earth and blood and the um sky and breath house both have a very like rivalry connection to lunar's temple and luna's temple and all these different um things and so you get that very beginning story about queen thea prince peleus the two people of the starborn line prince peleus is the one that had the horn the horn's been missing they're trying to find it all that fun jazz. his blood is what creates the horn with yes like yeah Yes. And then um, there's a lot of kind of fun chapters. Um, We skipped over kind of, I call it Queen of Shadows rated R, which is the meat market chapter in that section. Um, Also Rune High on Murthru, which is just hysterical. Um, But another really kind of big chapter, which is the second part of that uh, Starborn conversation is chapter 29 in that one, which is uh, when Rune feels the great romances of the Fae, which talks about Queen Thea and all of that. So again, just reiterating that, this story is about, you know, long ago there was a queen who had starborn powers. She had a daughter. The daughter was, you know, married and betrothed to Prince Peleus. He wielded the horn. The, is it, is he the star eater? Is that the Prince of the Pit's name? Yes. yes. Okay. He's the one who like wanted the horn and, um, because he want and he's the only one that's killed in a steery too. Right? Prince yeah, Peleus is different. also Queen Thea's general. Thank you. Yes, I knew I was forgetting a piece of information. So. Yeah, so he's in, he's betrothed to Lady Helena. Um, Queen Thea has another daughter who's never mentioned. Like, yes. She's never named. Um, but they are Sneaky both Sneaky. of the Starborn line. So 
Yeah. So that's kind of another um, really interesting kind of thing. Um, I think all three of us would agree that uh, whenever SJM goes into these lore moments, I like my binoculars go on because I'm like, this is going to oh, come yeah. up later. So <laughs> Elias is one of my, like, that whole story is one of my favorite. Yeah. It, it feels a little fishy. Uh, well, it's yeah. mentioned even in, in the epilogue, like yes. as yeah. a very important key thing we know that whenever there's something in an epilogue it means that that is going to come into play in the next book so. yes 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 uh, that's how she does Jessica it and Adius love to chat about the lore as well <laughs> yeah exactly um the other thing that happens in this chapter is hunt goes and sees the oracle um which was yeah. a very interesting moment i don't does someone remember it very well because i don't um so he basically goes to see the oracle um and um he the oracle is Ugh. but anyways so the oracle basically talks to hunt about bryce and how he should stay away from her and um i think what blinds an oracle is brought up again there yeah um and basically then like right after that hunt is like very like off put by bryce for like the rest of the day and and she's like what is it and he's yeah. like can you tell me why the oracle told me to stay away from you <laughs> and she's yeah. just like i don't know <laughs> Um, the other thing too was I believe that's the first time he's called Lord of Lightning, which I kind of picked up yes. on, right? It's also when it's it's there, and um, the Oracle refers to him by his Orion. true name, yes. right? Um, so that's kind of a little interesting thing. Also, the fun I really loved the next chapter, which we won't go over, but if you read it, it's like mm -hmm. Rune and Bryce are sitting on a bench and they're both talking about their awful Oracle experiences. <laughs> so it's just like kind of a funny like Hunt's all freaked out, but yet like the other two are like. Oh yeah, it was it was awful. Like we just because I think all of the Fae go and visit the Oracle at one point. So, yes, so <clears throat> sorry. The Oracle also mentions like you remind me of that which was lost long ago. I had not realized it might ever appear again. So that's yeah. like another like surreal time over here. Yeah. Kind of creepy. The tea. Got <laughs> With your fire breathing bitch queen in the mug. Um yeah. yeah. <laughs> the other thing too, which was an interesting chapter in this section is the Philip Briggs chapter. Um, yeah. The only reason I bring it up is because he's like in this prison that I believe is with the Asteria and he, he doesn't even know like what day it is, what time it is, because at this point in the story, we all mm -hmm. believe that um, he is so evil. And I think this is the first indication to us that like, maybe this isn't as black and white as we yeah. all assumed um, because, you know, a lot of us thought Philip Briggs was, I think there was a bombing that happened earlier in the book and they thought he yeah. was a part of it. Um, but it's clear like the guy has like lost his freaking mind. So there's no way it's, he's involved. Yeah. So there's the, the human rebellion is contentious with like Bryce and, you know, normal people because they really seem fanatical. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not just we want equal rights. It's we want to kill all Fae. So, yeah. uh, sorry, Vaynir. <laughs> Same thing. Fae included. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know. Um, and so like everybody is just like squashed between these two forces. And there doesn't seem to be a lot of room for middle ground. And right. I think it's important to note that Danica, you know, she really seems to be sort of like bopping around between yeah. she's got she's got connections everywhere she really yeah. does and i think there's a few people like danica that we realize in this story that like they also know that the veneer i think the veneer would like there's few veneer that would like human like some better rights for humans but they're yeah. dealing with their own issues with the asteri that it's like which battle do we do we choose right now right. and danica is yeah. one of the few that's like but i have a friend i think she really thinks of bryce as you know mm -hmm. kind of as the forefront in her mind and she really wants to protect her which we see a lot in earth and blood yeah right um okay so i'm gonna oh and then i really should mention the shooting range which is a sexy chapter in that uh section um but then <laughs> moving on to the canyon which again i want to remind everyone if you don't remember that the parts are divided into the different layers of hell so we're now into the third layer of hell um so the third layer of hell which is the canyon um some really kind of fun ones obviously the jelly jubilee chapter which is a real joy okay. of a chapter um also just a joy of a chapter because at the beginning of it they're like in the sewers because at that time they think sabine is the one that might have been involved in all of this um, i just mentioned one thing about jelly jubilee yeah. this is a spoiler this is just 
something. There is a pe- there is a Pegasus on the cover of this. <laughs> hidden. Hidden in look here. Look how shiny. Wait, look at how many tabs you have already. Oh my God. <laughs> um, <laughs> dude, I forget where it is. I'll have to like refind it, but but there's but there is a Pegasus hidden in here. I think somewhere. it's like it's right here on his chest, I think. Yeah, there's a wolf in the middle, and then I think there's a Pegasus. Pe- here. Oh my gosh. Just love that. They were like, Where's your book? I'm like, it's downstairs. I'm too lazy. I'm like, you can see it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> um the so after that, there's obviously the first, I call it the Merman chapter. Um, this was the very first time that oh. we meet Therion. Um, and yeah. that is a massive, I didn't realize what a massive dump it was for um yeah. the uh blue court, which is such a cool court. Yeah. Um, so I'm really, yeah. really hoping we see more of it because it is just, it was very fascinating, but we didn't touch on it in Earth and Blood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, uh, the other one that's right after that is the very first time we go to the den in Moon Ward. So this is the first time Bryce and Hunt visit that, uh, wolf's den. Yes. And you see basically, um, part of my French, what assholes everyone is to Bryce. So mm-hmm. that actually, that's important too, to note that, um, Sabine is Danica's mother mm-hmm. and yeah. Sabine has always resented Danica because the prime of the wolves passed on a very fancy sword of some kind. We don't have a lot of information about it, but he passed on the sword to Danica skipping over Sabine. And so Sabine is generally just like the worst. Yeah. The other thing, the other thing too, which is something I kind of was like, "Mm, Sarah, what are you doing here? Um, In the very first section, which I'm going to go back to, when they're bringing up that sword and that conversation, there's a very small paragraph about how we don't know who Danica's father is. And yeah. it's also a very small paragraph that talks about even though wolf shifters are usually power ranking wise lower than Faye, uh, Danica, if she were to have made the drop, would have actually ranked potentially ranked higher. Um, and so it always kind of made me wonder who the father was because those two paragraphs were right next to each other. And I'm like, hmm, what's going on? We don't on know here? who a lot of people's daddies are. Yeah. 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 We need some paternity tests up in here because I got I got questions. Um, okay, so then the next two really kind of important things are obviously there is uh the big paragraph about the Star Eater, which is the Prince of Hell, the seventh prince. He was the one who killed the last Asteri Sirius, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, serious. Um, so there's that was the first time we heard that you know he was really after the horn and was the one who killed Prince Peleus. Right? We find yeah. out more about the Star Sword in that chapter too. Yes, and oh. that it needs it, that. Yeah, so we find out more about the Star Sword in that chapter. I really like y'all. I like my swords. Can you tell? Um, anyways, the so we find out more about that, and we find out that it actually needs like a long bladed knife to like actually. Oh, work. yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, um, the other thing we find out is that um, the Star Eater created the Crystallos demon yes. using Peleus's blood, because Peleus's blood was also used to create the horn, yes. so the Crystallos can hunt the horn, and that's when everybody's like, "Oh my God!" Like the murders are connected to the horn. Yeah. Yes. Which was, which at that point, not going to lie, the first time I read this, I was like, I don't know how all this connects, so I'm just going to wait for it to happen. Oh, I didn't know either. <laughs> Some people were like, oh, it's this. And I was like, I don't know, I don't know. So, we also no. find out a lot about Gor- Gorzian stones. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In that chapter. Which um, they use they, that like, quite a few. Like, by magic. Yeah, yeah, they use that quite a few times to uh, trap Hunt at the end of the book. Yes. So it's it was, uh, um, and then obviously there's the first, chapter 51, the one that's right after is the first Aedas inter- introduction, or the, the big yes. one, um, which is obviously when they summon him. He kind of looks at Hunt a little like, ooh, suspicious about that. Um, I think he's like, I don't want to say flirty, but he is very friendly with Bryce because that's kind of how I would word that relationship. Um, mm-hmm. And he reminds her to make the drop and then to visit him. So yes. left some stuff left unsaid. Um, the next big ones, um, obviously we get the shower scene in this section. So this is when, um, you know, Hunt does the, um, he goes to do a task for Micah, comes back. He's really upset. Bryce takes care of him in the shower, which was really sweet. Um, and then there's the video call with Ember and Randall, which is, it was a fun mm-hmm. chapter because they both recognized Hunt and were a little <laughs> suspicious about why is there a veneer man staying with our daughter? Didn't really love that. Um, but then yeah. the chapter after that, which is the one I want to bring up, um, is goes into more detail about how they all um, came together. So like Rachel said early on, uh, when Ember found out she was pregnant, she went and hid um, in uh, 
is it like she went in where it's like sanctuary i think is what they called it right i forget where she went all i know is that sun priests yes. are sun priests and then the temple of Cathona. thank you helped mm-hmm. her out yeah so essentially she, somehow yeah she stayed at the temple and then randall was the was one of the few human sun priests he, he hadn't taken his oaths yet and he helped kind of bring her together but then they fell in love and so um i always felt like there was some sus connections there yeah he was considered an acolyte of solace thank you i was like i couldn't remember what his official title was um okay uh then there is uh i called it the sweetheart i love you which is obviously uh the first or i got you that was when they finally take the venom out of her leg it's viewed as a parasite which i thought was very interesting like a parasitic um thing yeah like a little worm um which i was like "Mm -hmm, i recognize that from another book series uh and then obviously we get the incredible i called it blue balls episode uh which or chapter which would just be when we thought we got spice but then it just got so much worse um and then (laughs) and then there's obviously the big hunt betrayal which is uh the big kind of explanation of why hunt was on the barge we're not going to go into that um well, we should mention Synth. I don't think we've talked oh, about Oh, yeah, that. we haven't even talked about Synth! So in, so in this world, um, Magitech is super important. So yes. mixing technology with magic and Synth is a drug that was created by Redner Industries Yes. in order to do a lot of different things. <laughs> and it was specifically if I remember created for the humans, but the veneer also can take it. So I right? think it was originally created actually to heal the, um, the horn, right? Or is that just what Micah was using it for? It was, it, that was what Micah was using it for, but it was cre- the way they sold it was that it was going to be a healing property for the human side but if the veneer take it, it's really intense. And this is also, I we skipped it as well, but uh, around that, right before the barge, we see the footage of the human girl who takes it and they put veneer in the room and he's, she's like yes. ripping them apart. And then she rips herself apart. Um, wow. Which was, yeah. the, which was, I think right up until that moment, Hunt wanted the synth to take down the archangels and then he realized how deadly it was. So he went to the barge to stop it. But Micah yes. had set it up in a way that it made Hunt look like with Justinian and Victoria. Yes, which uh, Victoria's uh, situation still haunts me to this day. So yeah, it's awful. Oh, God. Um, yeah, pay attention to, to that because, ew. Yeah, right? Disgusting. Um, we, uh, uh, we are coming up on time for I know, I know. I'm going to wrap up part four really quick. I told y'all. <laughs> I know. You know what it was? Because I started us late. It's my fault. Um, so the big things that I kind of want to bring up for part four, a lot of it is obviously exposition with Micah. So I'm not going to go over that, but, uh, chapter 68, which is the very first part of part four, um, that has a very small section where the autumn King comes in and visits Bryce and says that he loved his, left her mother was actually wanted to make her his queen, had the paperwork filled out. Ember even agreed to it. Um, but then obviously disappeared and left. And then, um, she also, and then he also said, the reason I'm here is because you're so much like me. And then he leaves. So it, to me hinted that he actually probably does really love Bryce. And so there may be some ulterior motive, um, but he's still yeah. a jerk. Uh, obviously then we're <laughs> going to go over all the stuff with, we've already done all the stuff about when Micah comes in, tries to take the horn. Uh, but a quick reminder, uh, Jezeba had the library of Parthos. Uh, and yes. there was the book of breathings and the walking dead book of breathings, Akatar, walking dead, throne of glass. There's um, also a book called the queen of many faces, queen of many faces, a God from throne of glass. Um, just to kind of like quickly wrap that. Uh, running through the meadows, um, when we realize that the hell gates are opened, um, Bryce's immediate reaction is to go to the human side because she knows that there are children there. That is what mm-hmm. calls Ethan to come. Ethan comes with a bunch of other wolf, or I shouldn't say wolf, dog shifters uh, to kind of help protect it. Bryce uses her last moment to save Ethan, so he's protected. And then that's when Bryce does her big call to hunt. She uses the horn, starts closing the gates. Meanwhile, Hunt finally gets Hypexia takes it off of his brow. Um, mm-hmm. and then he uses lightning to kill Sandriel. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty awesome. Quickly, uh, one thing I did want to bring up is there is a chapter at the summit uh with Hypexia, 
and um, she is a really hardcore defending the mer people. And there's some really cute flirty moment between her and Therion. She also tells Rune that she's not marrying him. So it's just a like, not right now, not interested. Thank you so much. Uh, that type yeah. of thing. Yeah. Um, when Hunt and da oh, also Fury had no idea over any of this. We haven't really talked about Fury, but she had no freaking clue. You don't um, really yeah. know much about Fury other than she just like has a lot of guns and likes yeah. to. And everyone's well, we know terrified of her. We know she's a mercenary. Yeah. Yeah. Because Hunt says she is. Yeah. And everyone's yeah. terrified of her. That's all I know. Yeah. Um, and when Fury has Fury and uh, Juniper in a relationship, that's the other thing, uh, yes. which is, I always thought was so, so cute in my heart. Um, so then when they all go, uh, Hunt falls to the ground and his legs are completely shredded. Uh, Bryce does the drop with Danica um, as a like soul, basically. Um, and they have a really kind of sweet conversation at the very bottom. Uh, Bryce mm -hmm. is a point, I think it's like 0.1% higher than the Autumn King. So she's extremely powerful. Um, and when she comes out of it, she has this, is it, it's an eight-pointed star on her chest. Yes, it's an eight-pointed star on her chest. The six-pointed star happens when she closes all the gates. Thank you. I was like, I know there was a six-point. Um, and also, you know, it's worth noting that, you know, um, the Oracle told Danica, through love, all is possible, which is what their tattoos are. Mm -hmm. And that's how they were able, how Danica was able to act as an anchor even after death for Bryce. Yes. Right. Yes. Um, and then um, once everything is kind of done, uh, they go back to the house. Regulus, who is kind of the weird teenager series, calls Bryce, uh, yes. frees Hunt uh, from his slave tattoo, tells her to lie low, basically use the horn, but never any other power. Um, mm -hmm. Also threatens Ember on the phone call. Um, and then the very last chapter is Bryce texts on Connor's phone, says I'm home, and then deletes all the texts so she can officially move on with her life. And then there's right. the epilogue with Jezeba and Adis. Yep. And, that's, and we did it. We did it. We and did now, it. Now I can bring everyone in. Bring everybody They're in. They're going to be like, you guys suck. You guys. <laughs> We're only we... a little bit behind. Hello. Yeah, look. Do you know how hard it is to recap in over like, 800 page 97 chapter I book? I do and... because I'm still on part I still have to make another <laughs> video about it. Oh my gosh. But we did it. Oh, and they're all like, baby Ethan. Okay, let me read some of the comments. I'm dying to know uh, what Therion was keeping a tally of. Yes, because he was keeping a tally of something um, during the summit. And it was uh, making Hypexia laugh. Uh, the whole summit when... Uh, I love that she casually vacuums up Micah while during the whole summit. Yeah. Um, for anyone that doesn't know, because... Uh, so... Ashley... Or not Ashley, sorry. I just saw Ashley's face down there. Hi, Ashley. Uh, new setup, girl. I love it. It's super cute. And you got the book. It's great. Um, I was going to say, Alex finished the book today. And um, everyone knows I'm such a hardcore troll. So uh, right before the <laughs> the Lahaba chapter, um, I messaged her and I was like, don't be afraid. Just keep thinking of Aelin's message. I will not be afraid. And, I will, and everyone was like, Sarah. <laughs> Look at May's face. Did you not realize I <laughs> May. She was awful. <laughs> so mean i deserve compensation for being a part of that group chat no you yeah. don't <laughs> the group chat was created because you took you seven months to finish kingdom of ash are you done with it no i i i have hang on i have that much that hold, much left hold on you have the special edition covers but you hadn't even finished the book no that you, is correct. fun fact I'm just going to go ahead and like totally gaslight her. So if you look at her profile pic, she has from Blood and Ash. She's never even read it. Like it's literally because she, her outfit matched the book and she wanted to take a photo. Super cute photo, by the way. But homegirl has never, doesn't even know who Poppy, Cass, Hawk, none of that. It, it's going to bring was, that next, right? Was, yeah. I was reading King you of the Ash. To read four books. I think she's got this. Colin has read more books than you. <laughs> Not more books, more SJM books than. Well, now yeah. I've read Those every are... single SJM book, have you? including Catwoman Soul Stealer. Oh, see how many oh. of us has how many of us have read Catwoman? Only I Ashley. <laughs> no interest in reading it. It's so good. <gasps> I haven't, I haven't read it. Really good, you guys. I want to read it. It's I it's, I say it's the book when I'm having a really bad day and I just need SJM. It's ready for me. Yeah. Like. 
It's right there. There you Apparently, go. Apparently, um, because I was hanging out with uh, Fantastic, we were we talked a little bit about Catwoman, and they were like, "You should read it because you it feels like her start of Crescent City because it's in that modern world." So yeah, you feel her kind of get that vibe going. Um, I didn't know that it was an Alex Rose tonight. Every night's an Alex Rose. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Honestly. <laughs> yeah, you. I mean, you guys have no idea the. Uh, I mean, I told everyone we're like we're talking only about Crescent City, but the Kingdom of Ash Zoom that we had as a group, where we were reading it out loud to her. I was for spoilers for Kingdom of Ash. I'll try and skirt around it. She was. I think you were three chapters away from chapter eighty nine. And I was like, you should light a candle. And she's like, well, I got these ones. And I was like, you should light the Manon candle. And everyone was like, you're... <laughs> so I so- made her light a Manon candle like two chapters before. And then I knew she was there because she just started crying and threw the book. And yeah. I'm the heartless Nesta that was like, I'll read it out loud to you. So I read it out loud and didn't sob at all. The you're best menace. part about the whole situation was like when you said the candle thing, I think it was just me in there. And May and Ashley were coming in later, but they were in the Marco Polo, literally like everywhere is she, everywhere is she. (laughs) And then like, she had like a chapter until it was time. And I was like, get in here. And then like two more heads pop in and Alex is just like, oh God. That's when I knew it was bad. When two (laughs) women showed up and just go, where's she, what's going on? Was that (laughs) the worst though was when Sarah's like, oh yeah, Ashley's gonna be fine. (laughs) Oh my God. That I was, will never forgive you. Honestly, that was a slip of the tongue. I did not mean to say that. I, I swear to God. Swear on Rowan's life. I did not mean to say that. Mm-hmm. That has been my new thing in our group chat because no one trusts me. But if I say I swear on Rowan's life, everyone trusts me. So like, I, I wonder don't why it. that is. She yeah. says it enough to where it's almost like, do we actually? Yeah, do oh, we? Up. That's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fat lie. Although, I feel like the worst thing you did, though, was make the chat title page 800 watch with no yeah. context yeah. Yeah. for Alex. Yeah, so uh, fun fact, Alex didn't even know about page 800 in Kingdom of Ash. You've been on TikTok for over a year, and I don't even know how the hell you didn't know. And That's I was like, protect her at all costs. She, like, I don't want her to get a whiff of this to the point that I told her it was a massive death. Like, I made her terrified of it. And all it was was just baby resand. <laughs> just... Are you spoiling for from, from, from Blood and Ash right now? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I can finally... The only Ooh, thing I know impressive. is there's something about honeydew <laughs> and a lady's hoo ha. Yeah. And <laughs> that's pretty much it. I can't wait to see if you're on Team Hawk or Team Castile because it's a very contentious thing. It's oh my God. Okay, wait. A menace. Yeah. You are a menace. Yeah. 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 Plus my number one boyfriend. Cass- Do no, not Hawk that. is way better. Shut up. No. Are love- wait, are these two love interests? I'm not, huh? I'm not <laughs> answering that. Wrong well, book. you guys aren't even yeah, talking about Karen. <laughs> oh, yeah, we need to talk about Karen. Yeah. Ooh. Why are you the way you are, Sarah? <laughs> are you are people. You are ruthless. <laughs> Honestly, I'm realizing the more I read Sky and Breath, I'm just Bryce because of the, <laughs> her, her, her witty sense of humor. I'm like, yeah, keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> and I'm Ellie. I'm just doing my best, you guys. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> <laughs> You're with Lorcan. That's depressing. Savage. Lorcan. <laughs> yeah. um, you and I are going to yeah. go toe-toe here in a minute. You know how emotional today has been for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. has it been? Uh, oh, you have, been no been. <laughs> you have no idea. I have no idea. I have three, three individual videos from a, from a FaceTime on my computer of Sarah just laying on the ground with her hands shooting up in the air, yelling, just saying, why I just oh, want no. this and just like sobbing on the floor. It is probably yeah, the was, best thing I've ever recorded in my entire I'm life. I'm having a full on mental wow. breakdown. It, and Sarah so- doesn't cry. So now I'm, scared. I know now I'm really worried. Oh, yeah. No, actually the best one is if you guys have ever seen the Kristen Bell sloth, video where she's yes, like, right? yes. um, I called Avery and that's what I looked like straight up I was like <laughs> no <laughs> yeah. and she was on zoom with me so I saw it too I was trying to I was trying to Sherpa poor Alex through um uh, the additional 
demise at the end of kingdom of ash chapter 108 <laughs> yeah so i'm trying to like sherpa her through that and sarah facetimes me so i've got alex on oh, my i called her four times i'm that demanding friend that was like you must answer me right now and so i picked up and i was like i am on facetime with alex and like, she's just care. like the whole thing and i was just like yeah Man. the best part what? is when we all finish the book I'll tell you guys the story because it's the most okay. dramatic thing I've ever experienced. And you would generally think I'm a toddler. Like it makes no yeah. sense. And I will send you the videos for confirmation. Yeah. So, can't wait. Um, can't wait. and I really can't wait to put the caption of like, so to clarify, I was spoiled on Twitter. So I thought it was this the entire time. But then if you actually re read the book in chronological order, it's not. So it's fine. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm so thanks, thanks, Twitter. thanks, Twitter. Thanks, Stop Twitter. It. Oh, no, yep. it's like totally out of context. You're fine. Um, yeah, yell at the tweets. Okay, yeah. We hate L reels. Anyways, so <laughs> <laughs> the uh, so we're gonna do uh, a little bit of trivia. Is he dipping? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I had enough of that hate with my Gwyn reel fix, please. Oh, no, I love your one. We girl. love you. Yeah. Thanks. Um, okay, we're going to do some trivia. The way this is going to work for anyone who's never done trivia on the YouTube side of things, we typically do it on Slido. Um, for anyone who's never used Slido, it's a great tool. You can use it on your phone and interact with us live. Um, we have some uh, – we're going to do a giveaway pretty soon. Oh, there's some questions. Hold on. Uh, oh, we'll do this in a minute. Rate the veneer male mate in order from the most to least desirable. So Faye, Angel, Mer, Wool Shifter, Vampire, Draki. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Uh, will you be sharing the crossover doc, Avery? Um, we mm. will not be sharing the document. Yeah, because we worked way too hard on that. <laughs> Um, but there is the live is saved to Sarah's channel, so yeah. you can go watch it there. Most of it is touched on. So yeah. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Someone said uh, Danica found uh, about Bryce's powers because of the motorcycle accident, right? Because she was blinded. Uh, the guys that hurt Danica, and if I remember, the reason they were even out there is because they were trying to free. It was animals. It was an animal. They were like trafficking Where's trafficking it? animals yeah i think that they had like find found out about it through like a a college project or something yes. like that yeah and um they wanted to go and rescue the animals bryce has a yeah. huge heart for like the um the lessers mm -hmm. yeah that's what it was. Um, oh, this is, I'll, I'll, we'll do this. Oh, uh, here, I'm going to, fun trivia question. Throne of Glass one, but then we'll do the actual Crescent City one because someone threw this in here. Uh, where did Aelin send the gods at the end of Kingdom of Ash? Away. Way. Hell realm. A hell realm. The hell realm. With one L? Shut up. With two L's. It's two L's, but oh, you know, it's a different L's. world. Okay. It could be a different language. You don't know. We're <laughs> all great at spelling. It's fine. <laughs> Did anyone else, wait, really quick, pause. Did anyone else, when they read Crescent City, and every time they said hell with one L, I was like, why does it have one L? Yes. I was hung up on that for too long. Oh, yeah, same. Nah. Okay, well. Nah. I got over it really quick. <laughs> Sarah, guys, like, come on. <laughs> yeah, okay. So we're going to do some trivia. Like I said, you guys can just put this in the chat, and then everyone here also can participate. There's some really tough Crescent City questions, and then there's some easy ones, so don't worry. Um but uh okay let me make this a little bigger so i can actually... i'm not allowed to participate because i helped right i think <laughs> i'm gonna dip I'm but going, i love y'all yeah oh I love you rachel, love you, rachel. Oh, oh, rachel when you get to the end oh that's why i'm going <laughs> okay i don't care what time of night it is just call yeah yeah yeah. yeah. literally like we don't care oh. what time of night it is and then we'll yeah. tell you the t-shirt that i'm sending to you because it's very important wait which which what where do I have to pause? The Liter last chapter. Last chapter. Seven. Not the epilogue. Last, last chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I got know. you. I'll see y'all yeah. later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh God, it's gonna be so much fun. Sarah, you get way too happy about this. Yeah. <laughs> well, let happy. me tell you, I've been on a mental breakdown over that last chapter, and now I'm in a much better mm -hmm. spot. So it's fine. Um. Okay. <laughs> What is the name of the man that Bryce dates at the very beginning of the book? Vampy Boo. What do no. we mean? No, oh, did we no, answer? No. Did answer? Where did we answer? Just what? like you guys can just talk it out. Like just say it. Izzy okay. said it. 
I was going to say, I, it's read. Yeah. No. Read it's read. It's read render. Do you yeah. read render of render industries? The only human Redner. that she dates. Redner? God, I can't. Yeah, Redner. I can't of Redner industry. Anything today. It's okay. I said dead trove and she's like dread. And I was like, oh, no one's corrected me in over a year. So thank you so much for that. Um, <laughs> the reason no one's corrected you is because you're a Taurus. I mean, you can correct me if I'm wrong. I'm just I'm wrong. not afraid. I'm just not yeah, afraid. Don't be afraid if you talk to me. Um, okay. What is the creature that was kept in the large tank at Griffin Antiquities? A knock. Oh, no. With that weird little O. Yeah. 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 A knock. Uh, what, what the heck is that? Here's a real tough question. What was the season at the very beginning of the book? The season? Uh, like, uh, spring. Autumn, right? It was summer. It, it, it was, was they were yeah. like complaining about how literally hot. no one is said the same thing. Okay, summer. <laughs> it, was, it was summer. It was summer. Uh, okay, where did Bryce grow up? Nolius. No. It you're, starts, clo you're close. Like I don't, uh, I'll give it to you because I would say it starts with an N. It's Nadaros. Nadaros. It's somewhere in the mountains. That's like the. I was gonna say she grew up in the boonies. Like she's out, out there. Out yeah. the Don't you guys remember? It took her mom's soul. She had to like drive to like a big city to get Jelly Jubilee. It was like a big deal, you know. I, I gotta tell you, I laughed so hard about that because nobody would tell me what the heck the unicorn thing was about in fan art. I was. <laughs> But, but I'm when, so excited. Okay, on the Jelly Jubilee, did you guys all picture My Little Ponies? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. Okay. Which is why I clearly from trauma did not read the chapter very well when they're going through the photos in Hunt's phone. And I didn't realize one of the photos was Hunt sleeping and all the unicorns are lined up in the bed. And I'm like, <laughs> why is that not fan art? Because I want that pinned somewhere in my office. Oh my gosh. Somebody <laughs> has to make that. Yeah. Uh, okay, see, look, everyone, yes, my little ponies. Uh, okay, what did Danica major in? This is a good question. History? Yeah, it was history. It was history. Right? Oh, good. Oh, okay. It was why she loved to go to Griffin Antiquity so much, because she would look at the books. Right. I got one. Yay. Good job, yeah. <laughs> uh, what is What type of cre creature is, hmm, you want to say the name? Because you know I'm going to butcher it. Rinks. Say it again. Shrinks. Shrinks. Oh, Chimera. Okay, Deering? see, you say it the same way I do. It's Searings. Yeah. Searings. Oh, I say Searings. Yeah. I say Shrinks. I, I say Shrinks. <laughs> how did you guys say, um, I'm, I'm going to say Lahaba, but that's how the yeah. audio book says it. But I always say Lahaba. So when I, I say Lahaba. I just say yeah, Lahaba. I say Lahaba, but I get why they changed it to Lahaba because it's Jessaba. So I guess I didn't want Jessaba and Lahaba. So they did. Oh. Just the when I first oh. read it, I said, the audiobook threw me for a loop when I first listened to it. When I first read it, I said Leaba, but then I then I figured it out, and so now it's Leaba. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Leaba, yeah. Sorry, fact, Alex. We'll like, stop like, talking about okay. Leaba. <laughs> uh, fun fact: in the audiobook, uh, I think it's Declan. He has a southern accent, and it throws me off. Like, oh, I noticed person. that, and yeah. I was like, yeah. "Why?" He's like, "What was it?" He goes, "Cloak and dagger, shit, nice." And I was like, "What?" I was like, "Why? Why? Why does he have a southern accent?" Stop! <laughs> I hated yeah, it so much. That was an unnecessary creative Jack choice. Declan is an Irish for. name. Yeah, but they exactly. all grew up in the same location. Why would he just have a look accent? Yeah, that doesn't work. Give it to yeah. It's the same thing as it's the same narrator who does Throne of Glass and she gave Ansel mm -hmm. a southern accent and I was like, so Manon has <laughs> like that makes no sense. By the way, I'm I in the book, I didn't read this part, I only listened to it, but the the Viper Queen. Yeah. Oh my god. That was the so obnoxious. Book, it's what? so bad. Where? The <laughs> entire conversation that they had with each other had S's every single solitary time and S was uttered. I was like, stop. It makes her less intimidating. Yeah. I know it does. And every time it was like, look where it hurts the most. Yes! Every time it came up in the book. And you just have to pause stop. for those seconds stop. while she drags it out. Yeah, this is why you listen to it on like two times beep. You're like, what? It's, it's oh, great. at the end of it, I was at three. I had beeped my tolerance up to three. Yeah. I listened to that last scene as. Oh, the like, epilogue? The whole thing. Well, and I was reading along. Once I got to three, I was reading with it. 
because I I was I was getting up a little close to the deadline. They're uh, they're totally yeah. making fun of us. They're putting a bunch of s's in the chat right now, and someone said, <laughs> "Stop." <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let's see. What legion is Hunt a part of? The thirty third. Yeah, thirty third. But the eighteenth originally, right? The eighteenth originally, but the thirty third. Wow, Ashley, oh, look at you. Ashley, you. Ashley. Wow. Wow. look at you. The last minute reread is it, it counts for something, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's fresh. Uh, what was Randall legendary for? Shooting. Oh, uh, sniper. Sharp shooting. Yeah. Sniper. Sharpshooter. Taylor. <laughs> Taught Bryce everything she knows. Um, what is Fury's job? A uh, mercenary uh, assassin. Assassin. Mercenary. mercenary. But they call her Merce, right? Or Merc? Yeah, a Merc. But I would say she's an assassin. Isn't like a mercenary just like a contemporary assassin? Yeah. Essentially? It's a pain. yeah Basically, pain. she's Fury in a modern world. That's how I view. I mean, Aaron that's what, in a modern that's world. the description on LinkedIn. Okay. I'm a contemporary yes. assassin. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's one of my skills. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, who is uh, Bryce's Starborn Light most similar to? Thea. The first guy, right? Yes, Queen, May. Queen Thea. Mm -hmm. That's at the end of the epilogue. It's like, I will never forget the shine of that light. And you're like, why? Why? So, uh, how long has Hunt been a slave? A long Forever. Oh, like a really long 300 years? Oh, just two? Two hundred. Don't do that, Avery. Just two? Wait, okay. <laughs> so he's been a slave for two hundred years, and but he was only like thirty-three when he was yeah. in the war, right? Like he's pretty yeah, yeah, he's very young. That threw me off. Wow. Yeah. Youngest slave. He had been a slave for like a large majority of his life. Yeah. That yeah. wow. That he's sucks. The love interest. What? Is he the youngest love interest? Like he's younger than Rowan and Reese, isn't he? Yes. Oh. oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, it's funny the how the youngest in game. Well, the youngest end game, because you're not counting Dorian. Kale. Kale. Yeah, why would you count? Yeah. Kale? Who cares? It's not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. I will say, out of game. all of the immortals, yeah. actually, technically, Fenris is the youngest, but he is, uh, he's close. He's close second. Why are we counting Fenris? We're because counting love interests. I'm saying out of all the immortals, he's like, Fenris is the baby. Okay. okay. How old is Fenris? He's in his hundreds. He's old enough for Well, him. it depends if Adian settled or not. He could be the youngest God, don't immortal. even go, let me go down that rabbit hole. <laughs> don't even. Sorry. Can technically Aelin be the youngest then? Because she was younger than Adian. Okay, oh, we're true. Not, I, I'm, no, she... It's no okay. It's, it's Fenris. Out of all the men, it's Fen. Fenris is the baby. The cadre. <laughs> Out of the cadre. 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 Oh my god. Cadre. I get to cadre. Cadre. I get to correct you in one thing. Okay. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh. Uh, what is the name of the demon prince prince that Bryce summons? Ada. Ada. Did everyone pronounce it that way when they read it the first time? Because I didn't. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Adis, awesome. Yeah. Cool. I think awesome. I was listening to that scene on the audiobook when I heard it for the first time. Right. I was the only one that said Adidas. Got it. Okay. Um <laughs> <laughs> little known fact, SJM was actually sponsored by Adidas. She when she Honestly, the first <laughs> she paid a lot of money for that product placement. On it, yeah. <laughs> she paid the money. <laughs> they paid the money. Um, <laughs> okay, what is the name of the demon that attacks Micah? What type of demon is it? Crystallis. Oh, Crystallis. I don't know. Yeah, you guys said it right. Crystallis. Yeah. What color yeah, is its blood? Black. Clear. 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 It is clear. clear. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, duh. I'm so used to everything having black blood. I'm waiting because we're same. on high alert for the black blood. I'm really looking, are. I'm always looking for the rings, the collars, and the black blood. Like where, where, yeah. where's it at? So, um, okay. When was the crossing? Do you guys remember what the crossing is? Fifteen thousand years ago. That is correct. Good. Oh, is Good that job, where the actually. calendar starts? Because yes. at one point they reference the fact that it's the year fifteen thousand thirty-two or something. Yes. One of you have a timeline because I'm gonna want to see 
this timeline. Great. Yeah. Um, so. Lord knows Avery has one. After we finish the book. <laughs> um, Avery is in the middle of working on one. Avery may have already started putting on her whiteboard and I told her to erase it um, and wait until everyone actually physically has the book before okay. we go down that rabbit hole. That's <laughs> Um, so, okay. Uh, this is a bonus question. So this is like, if you get all of them, you're a winner, but if you get a few of them, still a winner, it's honestly just a bonus question. Um, what is the name of all of the gates in the city? Like list them all off. Yeah. Can you, or like you can, no, not even close. But like, it's okay here. We can work together. So what's one yeah, of the names? The Rose, the Rose Gate. Rose gate. The Rose I was going to say the only one I know is the Rose Gate. Okay. The yeah. Rose Gate. Yeah. The Heart Gate. The Heart yeah. Gate, which is also known as the gate on the old square. And there's the one by the Bone Quarter. I don't the know. Bone Quarter Gate. The yeah. Dead Gate. But yeah. Dead. Yeah, you're oh, right. Oh, you're it's right. called, it's literally called the Dead Gate. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's like Rose Gate, Heart Gate. The Mortal Gate. Dead Gate, Rose Gate, Death. So. Uh, there's mortal the, gate. the mortal gate is the one um i can't mortal gate is the one um in the human side obviously mm -hmm. okay heart gate the one in pyro you're at four sarah four thank you um gee just gonna look at the map real quick yeah no, good. this I'm isn't this, this <laughs> isn't me cheating i just that is giving me a thought bubble and i'm not going to answer it. oh um uh, if you look alex where they have the so, four houses it'll say the ve and it's like Veneer? Oh wait, we have some answers in the in the chat. Merchant yes, Gate. Yes, the right. angels. I did not, Merchant I did Gate. Not. The River Gate. River Gate. River Gate. That's the one in the Wolf area. Mm -hmm. And then we're just missing one. Oh, Angel Gate. You guys got it. Angel Gate. Oh. Uh, yeah, my favorite is the rose one because it's got flowers all over it and they never die. And I'm like, oh, that's so beautiful. Why would you go to any other gate? That one's the pretty one. That's where you take the Instagram photos, you know? You go to the Rose Gate. The heart gate is made of quartz. Like, that sounds beautiful. I feel like... Um, do we wait, isn't there other things that are, like, made of quartz? Like, in other... Yes. So, that was a thing that we went... So, <laughs> Griffin Antiquities is made of sandstone. Um, <gasps> okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. um, the... Is it the oracles made of like a, isn't it like an obsidian? Like that building? It's like black. Yeah, I think so. And are all the gates made out of quartz? No. I don't think They're all so. different? Because the rose gate's covered in roses. So we can't, we don't know what that one is. Um. Okay, let's see. Rose gate, heart gate, river gate. Yeah, you got it. By the way, there's a typo in the new map. Oh, no. Uh, quartz yes. gate, super uh, charger crystal. Ooh, good to know. Um. <laughs> quickly realizing I need to pay attention more. Nah, this would just, this is why you got us. <laughs> you don't have to yeah. do that. Um, okay, I, this is my first time doing this, so please forgive me. We are going to go ahead and do uh, the giveaway for the trivia. So this is a $25 Amazon gift card. So the way this works is when you go to Slido, you're going to go ahead and put your name and your email. Um, it's already, it should already like have popped up. Um, I'm going to be collecting these throughout the night. And then tomorrow morning, you guys will get an email from me. If you win, I'm just going to put it in like a randomizer essentially. Um, so that is officially open. So you guys can go ahead and do that. Are we allowed to join Sarah? Yeah. If you guys want, <laughs> sure. I don't, I, don't know how to do it. So you just go to slido.com on your phone. And the code is, is Starborn tonight. Starborn. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, I see we got, we have 11 um, coming in. So we got quite a few. So I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys go. And then while we're doing this, I'm going to open the Slido and answer some of the questions that we have. Um, and for anyone who needs a link to participate, perfect. Alex got it. Whoops. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, here are some more questions. Uh, do you think Danica was never uh, truthful with Bryce to begin with? It seems like she hit a lot of information that she didn't necessarily need to. Do you think that there are pieces of that Danica completely hid from Bryce? Yes. Yeah. She definitely hid stuff, but I don't think she did it maliciously. Agreed. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. One of the I also think it's sort of like that miscommunication trope on some level because it's like she hid things because she didn't totally trust Bryce to be able to handle it. Yeah. And like that sucks because then we, you know, I mean, it's it's great as a reader because you're reading it and you don't know everything and you're learning things out. But um, from a character development standpoint, it's frustrating because they're supposed to be best friends. Yeah. 
Um, I think I think it is a little. There's definitely some things that she hid, and so it is a little uh, frustrating that we didn't um, see some of the stuff. Um, oh, I forgot, guys. The uh, this Amazon gift card. You guys will get the information tonight. So I'll email tonight at midnight um, who the winner is, uh, just so that if someone didn't get the Kindle edition, you can go ahead and order it tonight, um, which will should be out in about an hour. So you should have one hour if you're in the U.S. to get that Kindle edition. Um, so I'm gonna give it about a few more minutes. Uh, we have about 70 votes, so. So just keep coming on in. We'll see what time May gets it. Yeah. <laughs> we can oh my God. I'm hoping, That's so bad. <laughs> we can do a read along. I'm hoping that because it's SJM and not JLA, that maybe it'll be earlier. Wait, but didn't didn't you have the same issue for S Silver Flames? Because I feel like no. it happened on two. Oh, okay, so it was it was just JLA. Yes, yeah. JLA. Um, okay, someone said uh, this is a fun question for everyone. Uh, what is your favorite SJM quote from any book? Mine's basic. That's fine. Anyone know? Say. I gotta think. I know what mine is. What's yours, no, Caitlin? Mine's like printed on like every possible thing. Um, Caitlin, I'm what's yours? Yeah, what is it? Mine's mine's the to the stars who listen quote. Mm, okay. That's a good one. I really love that. It's literally yeah. my favorite. I have bookmarks, I have tote bags. It's gonna be at the wedding somewhere. It's just it's everywhere. Yeah, I, I get it. Yeah, it's a good one. An oldie, know. very goodie. Um, anyone else? Anyone else got a favorite? I think. I, I, go ahead. Um, mine is um, "I am the rock against which the surf crashes. Nothing can break me." That's a great one. I love that. That's, That's a, good a good one. I really like "Keep Reaching Out Your Hand." That's a great I one. I think that that's a really. Uh, that's one that I like actually do apply to my life, yeah. um, which is nice. Someone said, uh, until darkness claims us, keep reaching out your hand. Um, our stories are worth telling. Uh, that one was one of mine, is our stories are worth telling. I like telling. the, you do not yield. You do not yield. Uh, oh, those two made my eyes water. Uh, my friends are with me and I'm not afraid. Um, oh no! Oh no! Here, I can tell you, mine is a funny one. Hold on. That one is. Oh my god! No. <laughs> okay. Brown quote is it? I quoted on my phone, and I can tell you honestly, I don't remember who says it anymore. So maybe what, you can pull up. Which um, one? Which one? Hmm. I would have waited five hundred um, years for you, a thousand years, and if this is all the time we are allowed to have, the wait was worth it. That's Cassian, I don't know right? who that's says that. Cassian. Cassian. Who says this? That's, 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 that's what he's like dying in Accor. No, it's Cassian. Sorry. Wait, see? Yeah, that? I said that's it's when Cassian. he's like almost gonna die uh, in Accor. Rowan says something similar, but you know. Yeah, okay. Rowan, Rowan, I would wait, 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 hold on. 500 yeah. years for you, a thousand wait, years. I and think if that's Cassian. You're allowed to have. The wait was worth it. Yeah, wait, I think Cassian, I think Ashley might be right. Because Cassian's what Cassian different. says, that's Rowan. yeah, that might be Rowan because Cassian says, um, I'm sorry we didn't have enough time. Yeah, so I thought that was time. Rowan. Yeah, it would in be, the next um, life, we will have time. That was the yes. quote. This Cassian. is the this is yeah. the one that starts with like, I would have waited. Yes, wait, that's what she this, yeah. is, this, is an, yeah. this is an, is it an alien quote to Rowan? I don't know. He says, he says, I have it in my, he says, there is no limit to what I can give to you. No time I need, even when this world is a forgotten whisper of death. Yep. That's right before they have whoop whoop time in Empire of Storm. Um, yep, I know. Okay. Uh, wait, I got to find it. While you're finding yours, I'll read mine because I just pulled it up because I wanted to make sure I had it right because it's long. It's like the one where Reese and Feyre are in the cave and she just, um, he's, you know, not doing so hot. And she's about to go find the cereal. Anyways. My um, man, by the way. Love him. Sorry. This is, I just love this quote so much. I would never be a gentle grower of things or someone who burned like fire. I'd be quiet and enduring and as faceted as the night. I would have beauty for those who knew where to look and people who didn't bother to look, but only to fear it. I didn't particularly care for them anyway. I wonder if even in my despair and hopelessness, I was never truly alone. I was looking for this place, looking for you all. I just love that it's so really much it's my favorite one particularly the whole part where she's like comparing herself to her sisters and whatever and i'm like, oh there's honestly just too many good quotes to depict really? one 
Yeah. Okay. So I have a funny one, but I also have one that I really love as well, which I'm going to find. The funny one is the one my favorite is. So that's what he wanted. I honestly expected something grander. Like that quote for some reason is like, for anyone who doesn't remember that was like, it's just because everyone's heart drops in that moment. And then you're Even like, first. everyone's like panicked. And then Aylan's like, that's what he wanted. Like, that's one of my favorites. But then the other. Hold on. I'll find it. It's like around here, too. Someone else can go while I'm figuring this out. Uh... I don't feel like there are as many quotes from Crescent City. No. Oh, there's some. There's some. I mean, like, on, yeah. But to, to be fair, like the the quotes from the other books came later in each of the series, so I right. feel like like there's right. no, you know, so like we're gonna get some good ones, maybe in this one, if there, not. No, well, there is one that I really liked from this book. I can't find. Hold on. I made it as a caption. I know that. <laughs> That's the only <laughs> reason I know that I really liked it. It's like it's. I know I'm close to the right chapter, so I'm like, where is it? Okay. Light it up. This one. The one that the one from uh, Crescent City was. That's the point, Bryce, of life to live, to love, knowing that it might all vanish tomorrow. I like that. One. That was from Crescent City. Really good one. That's a good one. Um. Yeah. There's another one from Crescent City. Uh. And I think it's a. There's a few, but I can't think of the one that I'm that's off the top of my head right now. Also, do you guys know that sound that's going around Book Talk right now? That that's like the echo effect. And it's like, light it up, Danica. That's the that's the closest thing I had to a spoiler when it came to Crescent City. Oh, it's this one. Okay, so it says you will make mistakes, you will make decisions, and sometimes you will regret those choices. Sometimes there won't be a right choice, just the best of several bad options. I don't need to tell you you can do this. You know you can. I wouldn't have sworn the oath to you if I didn't think you could. Um, best that's a good one that's one that you never really hear and i just i spread it I was yeah. like, <laughs> so yeah but there's the, there's a few really like incredible ones from crescent city that i'm trying to remember yeah. a lot of the ones that i'm thinking of are from the second one right now i know like, avery's favorite from crescent city actually oh. is probably say it to my face you coward Oh no. no, that's a good one. Yeah, no, that's that one is the is the um I heard what you said when you were yep. while I was dying. Yeah, uh, you do have one. Coward. Oh, I loved that shit. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> and then and then she comes back obviously and goes, Did you just call me a fucking coward? Yeah. <laughs> like top tier. Oh good. Um, also when uh they're removing the venom from her leg and they're saying that I got you and it's, and it's actually sweetheart and not in the mocking way yes yeah dude sweetheart I hate I hate when people say that unless it is somebody with this kind of accent do not call me sweetheart <laughs> under any circumstances but the moment he said it in all earnest I was like oh cloud <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is the. Did someone say this one? Because this is one of my favorite. This is from Silver Flames. I'm going to tell you uh, that you will get through it. That you will face all of this, and you will get through it. That these tears are good, Nesta. These tears mean you care. I'm not. I'm going to tell you that it's not too late. Not any of it. I'm gonna. I'm. And I can't tell you when or how, but it will get better. When you feel this guilt, this pain, self-loathing, you will get through it. Like, ugh. Climb the freaking mountain. Oh God, yeah. That's mm. always. <laughs> They're all like, SJ, I'm hitting us with the good. Okay, um, we can hear. I'm going to go ahead and stop this one. Hold on, let me get the right. Perfect. Okay, I have 75. So once I'm going to let them talk for a little bit in a second and I'll go through them. Um, and then we will go ahead and do uh, the other giveaway. But I'm going to answer some more of these questions. And then we have a little this or that that everyone gets to participate in. Um, you guys can read them out loud and then I'll show you guys the poll as well. Um, okay, so we we talked about favorite SJM quote. Uh, who was your favorite supporting male character in Crescent City? Therian. Rune. 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 Rune, obvious. Rune. 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 Rune in the crew. Rune in the crew. Rune in the crew. Actually, I feel like Rune, Rune more than like, Therian. Uh, might have been Declan. It's you know, just, Ther okay, yeah. Oh, Therian's really pulled in the back end there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was pretty great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would I tell you. So, uh, how many Therion? He's like second for me. Okay. 
Are we mainly rune ladies here? Can rune. we just like lump it as rune and the crew? Yeah, rune like... and the crew. That's yeah, rune and the crew. Okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, fair. yeah, yeah. But um, I'm interested in Therion. Like I'm, yeah. inter- I think I'm more yeah. interested in that storyline because I feel like there's going to be more there. Yeah, for um, sure. Favorite female supporting character. Hypaxia. Leaba. Leaba. Yeah. Leaba. Well, Hypaxia. Leaba. Yeah. I mean, is Danica supporting a supporting yeah, one? Or? I would say so. And Danica probably. Yeah, I was gonna say Danica. I'm like, I mean, <laughs> some people were like the otter. <laughs> and I was like <laughs> <laughs> the otter. I would agree with you. Uh the cute computer nerd. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's Declan. 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 Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I, I think my favorite female it might be Hypexia. No, Jezeba. I think it's Jezeba because yeah. there's something about her that I always found very there is interesting. About her. Yeah. I do enjoy the fact that she threatens to turn people into like a toad. <laughs> Every conversation. Yeah. 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 That means you were newt. Yeah. Uh, oh, Fury. We none of us said Fury, but Fury is a Ooh, she's a good Fury's one. Fury's up there for me. Yeah, that's. I'm, there's I'm much excited to see more because we didn't see a whole lot of like really what she was, but she's super yeah. mysterious, and they're hinting that she's like really yeah a major. Person. Juniper. Juniper is just probably one of the friends that we all need because she was so Ugh. great and loyal. Oh, yeah. I mean, she Juniper's was there for great. Bryce when all that stuff went down. So like that is that's a really special one. Um, yeah. Okay, do you think Shahar manipulated Hunt and turned him to what she needed at the moment, or do you think she had good intentions when she recruited Hunt to her rebellion? I feel like she had. I think that. I feel like she loved Hunt, but I feel like not every one of her intentions was pure. Yeah, I I feel like. With That's every SJM character, it's like a morally gray ground, right? Like we very rarely get SJM characters where they're all good or all bad. And so I feel like, you know, she probably was a mix of both. Like her intentions might not have been totally pure, but do you think she had feelings for him? So, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I agree with Katie. Yeah, I think she might have gone from like not necessarily pure intentions to falling for him, but it's mm-hmm. still a like where it started was probably not from no he's too powerful for it to have been like a no. coincidence that a relationship formed with the super much pa- i agree me, with katie i think uh, oh sorry no go ahead alex it gave no. me very much jasper cullen vibes yeah that that's great face. you know yeah like that's what i saw in my head great callback love that <laughs> yeah. and it also says from hunt's perspective that when Shahar and him met, like she walked into the room and saw him, and like that's when the connection started. Yeah. Like it was that quick. So yeah. it does make me wonder if it was like, was that love at first sight, or was that, oh, I know what you can do. Yeah. And right. here. Yeah. And and then, you know, trust issues. Um, a lot of people think that they manipulated. Uh, to know darkness will always remain, but how you choose. Oh, that's a quote. Yeah. That's a she, great quote. That's a yeah. Uh, she, <laughs> she loved him for what she could do for her Pro- it probably was a double-edged sword in that instance yeah um yeah. they're like fury is bad yeah she's badass yeah she is uh why does sarah give me jessica vibes shush um <laughs> <laughs> i'll take that <laughs> you're a Taurus, that's why God, exactly. yeah. Wait, what animal would you turn each of us into? No. <laughs> That's a great I question. would probably turn you guys into like cute ones so I could keep you around because I don't like, I, no one would get a scary animal. We're all otters then? No. <laughs> like ones I'd be an otter. Like, ones that you could like live in my house, like dogs and stuff, so I could just like keep you around, you know? <laughs> oh, I mean, like, what, what kind of dog would yeah, we what all What kind be? of dogs? I don't know. <laughs> Can I be a pug? I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. You can have that because, me. like, I mean, you guys. If no one knows this, when I got Lois, because my mom did this with her dog, I got an embroidered baby blanket for her. Like, so when I brought her home, she had an embroidered. Ba- it's like a red. It has roses all over it. It's okay. Lois I'll Lane. I'll be your dog. Yeah. So like, she's she's very. <laughs> Find low. me up. I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, she's very. I'm low very. Low. I very recently took a what dog are you quiz um, hey. for scientific reasons, and I I have. <laughs> On good authority that I'm a corgi. So. I'll take I was it. literally about to say I, yeah. if they didn't tell you that you're a corgi, it is yeah. scientifically inaccurate. Yeah. <laughs> what type of dog do you think I am? Uh, a bulldog. Bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that was my gut feeling. It's a very Taurus dog to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate it's that. It's a very you dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I appreciate that. It's got a lot of breathing problems, overweight. Love it. <laughs> no! I was going to say an Australian Shepherd because you're always like r- roping everybody up together and stuff. But damn. You know what? Actually, mine, go- had, mine was too positive for this. <laughs> I say Sarah's a Pomeranian. Oh, oh wait, yes. Oh. Like I hair, hair, you know, you know, it up. Yeah, yeah, they got great hair. Yeah, you got the hair. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Um, someone did say, and I, ha- I do need to change my favorite supporting female character to Ember because she is my favorite. Yes. Hmm. Oh. I saw that her. comment about the mama bear, and I was like, oh yeah, yeah. Ember and- is my mother. Yeah, she just she- same. Oh my god, same. <laughs> And let me tell you, first chapter one, y'all, that my mother has had that conversation with me. Same. She's had that Same. conversation with me. So y'all enjoy that because I've been yeah. like, mother, sh- oh, please stop. Yeah, you're just like, mom, mom, can we not? Can we really not? <sighs> to the point that when I was hanging out with the girls this week and my mom called and I was like, lady, I've lived with you for over a year. Give <laughs> me four days with friends. Jesus. Take a deep breath. She's not watching. It's fine. She's reading A Shadow in the Ember. She's trying to get into Nikdos. It's it's very difficult for her. She just wants Castiel's. <laughs> it's been a whole thing this weekend. Um, okay. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh. Uh, favorite favorite ship from any SJM book. Nessian is mine. Um, I am just going to start this off with for the it. correct ship of Illusion. Thank you. Goodbye. I so, love Illusion? That. Okay. No. Okay. Gwen, don't act like you no. don't know this. A hundred percent. Alusha. I'm just not even gonna. I'm just not even gonna speak. I'm just yeah, gonna say. Okay. That, I, mean, that's, that's I do incorrect. love Gwen Real. That's the incorrect answer, but okay. I mean, I'm. <laughs> it's not my favorite, but it's one that I absolutely love. Thank you. Here's the thing. I would say Gwen Real because I really am very excited about that ship. I'm about. But to that story hasn't been told yet. So because it hasn't been told yet, I have to go with my OG Alorkin. Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine, fine. You can have it. Here's okay, my well, issue with with a, a Lucian, whatever, is I like Lucian way, way, way too much. Like he was my favorite book boy in book one. Like I liked him over Tamlin so much. I love him. I don't like him with Elaine because she sucks. Like she needs to have some. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Honey, we're not gonna fight right now because I'm a god fearing woman. And it is a beautiful today. I don't feel like saying something I'm gonna regret. <laughs> I'm a god fearing woman. <laughs> I need to What was it? I really I need to save the video because that belongs next to uh we have a Marco Polo chat for already for Sky Breath and people have been putting reactions and Avery put one in and she was like, Y'all, Jesus help me. Uh, she started off like and i won't say what she said but my dad was in the car and he has no idea what sky and breath is and he was laughing so hard he's like what is that and i was like i don't even know how to explain to you what she's saying i I was just talking about how a certain somebody by saying certain things might might top Castile, like he might just shoot past the entire book boyfriend list. Really? Yeah, no, that's I know what you're talking disagree. about, and I wanted to say that as my mm-hmm. favorite quote for a second because it's so good. I know. Yeah, it's so good. Um, I'm gonna fight for my ship over here like it's nobody's business, but it's Rowalyn. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I have to find that. Out. That's, a given. that's an obvious one. That's I feel like, like you should you should not answer. be allowed to give that answer. Yeah, yeah, like if you like had to pick a second in, answer, yeah, second like, answer. That's like saying, "Oh, I like Aelin. Oh, she's great." It's like no shit. Do you know yeah. how hard it is to be a throne of glass stand out here with all them Akatar ladies? I'm everyone's like Akatar this, Akatar that. And I'm like, Akatar is a better book, but it's fine. <laughs> no, you have to give a second answer. Answer the question, Sarah. Um, I know who she's gonna say. Really? I have a feeling I know too. I, yeah. I feel like you're gonna. You're oh, gonna wait. I feel like I know who she might be. You're gonna say Kale and Irene. I'm gonna get kicked. <laughs> no, she. No. Not. Oh, who, what's wrong with Kale and Irene? God. Kale. It's the most vanilla, <laughs> boring relationship ever. They're so ever. boring. You need help. No. Are you shitting my dick? <laughs> They're fantastic. They're so they're amazing. They're amazing. Um, 
Oh, yeah. Yeah. Who, who is my second favorite? Oh, of Ash. I know who it is. Who? It's, you guys are, no one has said it. It's Sartak and Nesrin. I oh, was going to say so that. Damn it. Yes. Yes. I love that. And Nesrin. Because yeah. let we me tell you, robbed. that, yes, we were. That man. Oh, my that God. Man. Sarah, yeah. Sarah, I would like to point out that Did you I skip the book? to read Tower yeah. of yeah. Dawn. I would like so to point out you- that. That is why I am the Throne of Glass Sherpa on TikTok because no one was. And I just was like, it's a book about Kale. She's in a, you know, and I'm like, I'm not, I was too one track mind. But if someone had told me that there's a sexy guy named Sartag that rides birds, that would have sold me. <laughs> They're called rucks. Roots. Yeah. <laughs> also, that is, is that a euphemism or does it sound like <laughs> Probably because I'm into the bird guys. So that's yeah, only, exactly. which is a great question for someone asked. Um, it's a bird. Rate the veneer ma- male like mates in order or like which one is the most de- desirable to you. Um, Mine would be a hawk shifter because obviously I have a thing for the bird guys. So is that why you also like Dorian a little bit? Yeah. Well, I just like Dorian bird. because Dorian is like, man, you Dorian. know what you're getting from that. You nearly like. We do, we can just like Dorian because Dorian. Like yeah, there yeah. needs to be no other explanation. Yeah. Dory. Yeah. Like I like Dorian from Throne of Glass, like baby Dorian. And then when he started but my favorite, honestly, which I absolutely loved Kingdom of Ash spoilers. I loved when he shifted into a woman and Manon saw him and she was like, Did you already touch yourself? Because that's the type of woman he needs in his life. I is died. one that just calls him out immediately. Yep. Like not one that's like, Is that you? Like, no, no. come on. Call him on his frat boy crap. Yeah, I agree. You're that was fine. a good thing. You're more than thing. 30 minutes in. They're not going to demonetize me at this Great. Point. Call him on his frat boy bullshit, okay? Yeah, 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 you yeah. just got it. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay, but what would you guys say, like, top tier veneer male in Crescent City? Which one? You got You got Angels. You got I mean, Faye. Faye. You have Murray. You have Shifters. Vampire. Drackey. Reapers. Let's not I like the myrrh because I was telling Alex earlier they take you down to their underwater kingdom and nobody will ever bother you down there. It sounds great. But they trap you. You can't get out. I don't know. That's my okay. opinion. I don't like There's to go a lag. anyway. There's a bit of a lag. It's in- a matter of perspective. Um, I love this. People are like hey, phantom hands. Oh. Uh, oh, Astrid and her hunter. That's a great answer. Oh. That's oh, a great no. answer. Look, now she's with them forever, Alex. And their child. Big move. <laughs> Happy ending in the end. Tara. Awful. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, you God. <laughs> she's like so mad at me right now. I hate it here. <laughs> this is stupid. Um, I hate it. Uh, yeah. What are, what's everyone's thing? I mean, I also have to say... I know everyone's for the Bat Boys. Their wings kind of freak me out a little bit. So when I started reading about the angels, I was like, I could do that because like the feathers, like that's kind of I cool. could do that. The bat <laughs> they have claws. Could you imagine going to bed and like my bun getting caught on Cassian's claw? I'd be like, excuse me, put that somewhere, sir. It's the one time I'm for Reese because I wouldn't the yeah. wings not allowed in the bed because I, I you know what? Put that somewhere indeed. I gotta say. <laughs> It's not as bad as you think it might be. Yes, Alex. But they're like leathery and weird. Ouch. Like, could, could you imagine? Like, I just, oh, uh, no, but angel wings. Right. Soft. Yeah. The, yeah. You can like, like shoot in the nice and soft. Yeah. I also can't get over like this. Yeah, the but thing. then it would like tickle you. Like, what if it like, like it's just, just like matter. touched you? Like, ah. Wait, does that mean every like so often he has to molt and then he has these ugly like fleshy I like thought about coming that. off of his back? I no. thought about that. I did think, did you really get that image when in the first book when his wings got cut off and they were growing back? They're like these little baby. Yeah, <laughs> they're, I literally imagine, <laughs> and we have chickens at my house. Yeah. So I imagine the little like thingies that come out that look like, like one fingered oh hands my. that come out. Um, Do you know in um, not Daredevil? What's the Ryan Reynolds movie where his hands get cut Deadpool. off? Yeah, Deadpool. 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 Yeah, yes. and he's just got the little baby hands. That was. That was <laughs> That's what it little is. Nubbins. Um, <laughs> people are like Sarah. Too soon. Now I'm crying. Uh, <laughs> Hunt's wings are cute. Uh, <laughs> Alex, she's like, give me them claws, please. Uh, 
<laughs> Why did you guys give me this image of his wings multi? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, biologically, if yeah. we're not the rules, it's gonna happen. Yeah, hate uh, here. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. While we're continuing to chat, um, I'm gonna go ahead and open the second poll, which is for our giveaway basket. It's super, super cute. Um, it has the really beautiful. If you guys haven't seen, um, this is the. I've had these for like over a year now. These are the Waterstone. Um paperback oh, editions oh and they i are remember when you bought that yeah they're the sprayed edges so you're gonna get a copy of this uh there's a jelly jubilee pen and a light it up with the word uh, with oh i almost said word gate uh <laughs> that's what i think it is uh with uh one of the gates it's really cute um a hunt and a, i think it's a hunt and a bryce candle it might just be a hunt candle uh there's something else so if you uh want to go ahead and enter in that um that you guys will get an email for tomorrow so i'll let you guys know and um in the discord tomorrow morning i'll like at everyone and say that the winner has been announced so in case anyone's like i didn't get an email um that's the deal there so that is opened um okay okay so we talked about favorite shift we talked about this if you could be any animal shifter because there's a lot of shifters in this book what would you choose and why i think we all know what mine is so i was gonna say i feel like caitlin and i have the same answer and it's wolf so have you guys read um have you basic i'm surprised all of my wolf shifter ladies have you guys all read an omegaverse book yet what oh are we really opening up this can of worms can i tell you (laughs) we like i yeah so we i'm gonna mm, i'm gonna get you guys into that so uh it's great lola the millionaires great start sort of rude that you haven't already but okay yeah where have you been (laughs) You know where I've been. <laughs> um, yes. Okay. So wolf shifters. Any other shiftery things? Mine would probably be. I'd probably, bird. I'd probably oh, like cat probably shifter. Like, That's a good I one. I was gonna say I'd probably go for like a cat of some kind. Cats get. I I want to fly. So yeah. I feel like a bird flying. of some sort. Yeah. Eagle. I'll do I eagle. Feel like, so I don't yeah. like playing Sarah's little thing. So I'll do eagle. Yeah, yeah. I just feel like I just cats shift the house cat. Flies like all the time like you can literally just lay around the house and yeah. sleep yeah. like that is ideal the relationship i have with my bed is a good one and i would like to continue yeah that, oh my god same feel that wait w- would i be able to be any kind of bird yeah you could be any bird uh white <laughs> can, birds are can typically I be a- raptors but or not raptors but go on can i be a pigeon yeah. Oh my God. You would. I feel like, hold on. I feel like they're very unsuspecting and they see everything and nobody would ever say, oh my God, look, that pigeon's looking at me funny. They're like, oh, look, another pigeon. Like nobody would ever suspect you. You're the perfect spy. I think <laughs> it's the perfect plan. You got, I really now just need fan art or like someone to Photoshop your face on a pigeon. <laughs> I just want a it's pigeon like, with glasses. Really She's like, like, I'm a pigeon. <laughs> it's just one of them pigeons at Disneyland who's like food <laughs> actually oh, I, or a disney duck i'll be a disney duck. i was gonna say what about those really terrifying obnoxious birds that are at disney world that have creepy eyes oh they're are you talking about the little black ones no with the white, white beak they're like are white. you talking about the seagulls yeah they're oh. white and they're really big and i'm always like yeah oh. they eat people's hot dogs it's <laughs> really so, true <laughs> they're so weird like don't it's- be that bird yeah like, no i'll be a pigeon i'm fine with being a pigeon <laughs> okay um i'm gonna go with like i don't want to be a hawk because i feel like that's like very stereotypical but like you know something cute that like could fly next to a hawk and their friends it's just on brand for you honestly at this yeah point. just being a bird you know um P- P- big widgeon from harry potter yeah, Ron's yeah. Little- yeah. That could be you. <laughs> yeah um okay oh this is a good one does anyone have uh well actually i'll save this one for the end because this is like a theory question i want to know what everyone's last minute theories are i can't with alex tonight <laughs> alex to oh, my life. um do you think ember is hiding something from bryce like why did she really try to run from the autumn king especially if she agreed to be his queen yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah. i mean I feel like the starborn powers definitely played into that. And so like, obviously he hit her, which was like, get out of there. But also like the starborn, I think those combined is the reason. I don't think there's anything else besides that. Someone said, Sarah joins Vaughn in a, as an Osprey. <laughs> yeah, we can just never see him again. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know if she's hiding. I don't know if it's like, I hate to use this as, as an example, but in my opinion, like the more an heiress story, I think Eris is being the villain 
he's taking the sword, but I don't think that's the truth. Like, I think there's more to that and more is hiding a ton, a ton just, and Eris is okay with it. But I think in this particular instance, Ember might, may, might have gotten spooked and just like peaced out. So, um, I think it's a, it's a little different. Um, this is a fun one. How many books do you think the series will end up being content wise? It feels like it should be more than four books. Does anyone have an opinion? So just for anyone who's wondering right now, she's contracted for three books, but does anyone think it'll be more than that? I mean, four because one for each house of houses makes the most sense. Yeah. I think and I wonder, hmm? I think we're going to get novellas. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think about that. Decent. I think if if it's a, f I don't. Mm. My money's that it stays at three for right now. Yeah, I want to finish Sky and Breath before I make a full call on that. Yeah, yeah. I mean they they are super information dense books, like and they're yeah. all yeah. really long. I feel like even more information dense than like Akatar is. Yeah, so I oh, think yeah. she had to drag that longer, but I think four would be good just with how much is packed into. I kind. Talking about specifically Agatar, Crescent City is like twice the length of that book. Yeah. So. The other thing too is uh, to compare the two series, actually to compare all three series, when you read Throne of Glass, there are pieces in book one that play mm -hmm. a significant role in the last book. Yeah. And in Akatar, it's not the same. There's a few things that kind of trickle, but that since that's so much more character driven and then plot driven, Crescent City, Earth and Blood, my spidey senses notice the same things that throne of glasses so mm -hmm. my guess is it's plotted as a trilogy and if she decides to extend it it'll be one extra book but i don't think we're going to get a massive anthology situation here so but we'll talk about it when we have our spoiler conversation because i have very strong opinions on what the next book is so same. Yeah, I've already made a TikTok on it, waiting about two weeks to post it. So, um, okay. Uh, who, okay, we'll give this one. Oh, someone asked uh, for Omegaverse recommendations. I'm just going to quickly say this. I think Lola and the Millionaires is a great starting point because it's a very, uh, it's a reverse harem slash Omegaverse. Um, you read part one and part two, if anyone's curious. Um, another great one. You know who has really good picks, guys, is Steph uh ideally inspired she has great omegaverse picks but uh so she gave me a few but definitely start with uh lola and the millionaires um because it's a good it's a good starting point is there a spoiler stream there will be a spoiler stream um i just haven't determined what it is because i know with everyone's schedule it's a little funky plus um since this is such a dense book um, i want to give everyone the breath to do it but uh we are also full steam ahead next week doing our from blood and ash live stream so it's trying to schedule some stuff there um, but yeah, we'll all work on some, if anyone wants more Omegaverse, I just, uh, kind of dipped my toe into that. Um, if you could pick one SJM character to get their own book, who would you choose? Fenris. Ooh, that's a good one. I think Fenris. Yeah. My, well, my go ahead. We know my obvious answer. I know. Well, you're probably going to get that. So keep going. I know. So, um, I would like to see, like, if I were to see like a, like a book from something that I don't think we'll actually see, it would be, um, like Manon and Dorian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That'd be a good one. <laughs> or a Lorcan. I would like a Lorcan. Ooh, yeah. yeah. That'd be a good one. What I would also like, because I feel like we didn't get enough. I really wouldn't mind another Feyre and Reese book because we really only got two. <laughs> You I would. Do not care. I do not care. I'm <laughs> over them. Like we had four for Aelin and Rowan. No, we're gonna you, have all of these. Please. For we have so much recent favorite. Content. Yeah, God. I'm I here for more. I love them, and <laughs> yeah, I, I'm okay with more. I approve. I, I don't mind. More. I don't mind. Caitlin, you're not alone here. here. Yeah, you're not alone. We're we stand you're not with alone, you. honey. We've got you. We've got you. Uh, oh, so, this is a good answer. Someone said Lady of Autumn. Love that. That's that would be great. I need that. I that need that. Uh, that would be really cool. Yeah. I, okay. Well, so I would love a Lucian prequel on that subject. A Lucian prequel where we find out what happened with uh, what's her bucket. Just with, been the yeah. yeah. Thank you. Um, yeah. Mine. Um, it kind of falls under Jamie's answer. A prequel. Um, I really, really. I don't think she'll ever do it, but I would love a Maeve story. 
Oh, we talked about that one. Oh my yeah. God. I I'm like, that. every time I read about Maeve, I'm like, I would love like, because she's a villain that like, you love to hate, but also like you could really sympathize with if you got her story Lucky. before she went so crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I liked uh, Vivian and Callias. I thought they were interesting. Ah, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah. That's a fun one. Um, regardless. I'm not opposed to an Elaine book. I just want to put that up. Elaine will get a book. Yeah, <laughs> just not yeah. That's why Alex. I'm okay with it. Alex, the reason I didn't say Azrael is because it's the obvious answer. <laughs> you yeah. Something else. Yeah. I was well, given say- that we have some people who don't like my homegirl in here, I Look, just wanted to. I let me clarify. Oh. I, I think Elaine is going to get the <laughs> elite effect, which is like she's really boring right now. I mean, I just think she's as boring as no offense, dirt. But I think we all would have thought that about Illid unless we got her point of view. And she's extremely fascinating. And so I think Elaine is going to get the same thing. Alex, I feel like... Think about, little... about it. Think about it. Illid is like very meek and you're uh, like, whatever. No, and then you get her point I... of view and you're like, holy crap, she's super interesting. Yep. But, couldn't but, but, couldn't but agree more with that, but she's not boring. She's not boring. She's a seer. She's a steer. But she hasn't done anything. She hasn't started something. Yeah, she's done anything. She, she, she changed the future. She changed the future. The point of the future. Because they won't listen to her. They literally don't listen. Because I mean, she I'll gave you that. And they put her inside. They're like, Elaine, sweetie, it's okay. Go make some cake. Go that's hang out with the right. Like, that's it. <laughs> they don't let her do anything. She literally changed the future. She said to Cassian, it won't take that much to kill you. And she was like, looks like he's dying. Pat, pat, save him. He, she changed the future. I'll give you that. I'll give you that because so many people think like Cassian's still going to die. And I don't think he is. No. no, no, no. She the I'll give you that. I'll give you that. But she could be a little more interesting. No, she, she, will be, she will be more interesting. That's okay. like what I think is like, there's yeah. no way that she has been she has done as much as she's done and there's been this much buildup for her to continue to be this boring. Yeah, I would agree. And I understand you don't think she's boring, Alex. I get it. Elaine is an incredibly <laughs> underdeveloped character. Yeah. And we're going to, when we get her book, which we will get her book, I'm manifesting it into the universe. She, when we have that POV, it will make more sense. Let me tell you, Alex, you're getting a lot of love in the chat right now. <laughs> Good. I'm yeah. glad. I'm literally getting text messages of people. Thank you for sticking up for our girl. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, like I said, I'm ready to be proven wrong with her. Yeah. Like totally ready because I think she's very fascinating. It, she, or I should, let me cry for that. She could be very fascinating. She has the potential. Yeah. She's got the potential. So like, I'm here for it. Also still here for the evil arc. Yes. Would be, would love that. <laughs> Would love it. I don't, I say evil, but I think it's more like she's at her breaking point where everyone just assumes yeah. that's what I, I, when I say evil, that's what I mean. Well, I've heard okay the theory, uh, I forget his name right now, but the the guy in the lake that can like possess people. Oh, like, yeah, I call him Co. Uh-huh. The lake. And I was like, who is she? Um, I can see Sarah smile a few years from now when we would discuss an Elaine book. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm here. Like, I will totally read. I wasn't really sold on it until I read some Illusion fanfic, and I'm obsessed with the idea. Yeah. <laughs> obsessed. So, like, I'm here for it. Um, I think Gwenriel will happen first because that yeah. will push Elaine to really go towards Lucian because she needs that push because he's so amazing that like she needs to see the light a little bit. But I also think Lucian puts her in a box as well and needs to not assume things with her. And that they they both need to kind of understand each other a little bit. That's their journey together. Yeah. That's their journey together. Yeah. The flower needs the sun to grow. Oh, it's a thing. You know, like, go. unless... Uh, Thank you. Um, okay. I have like an unpopular opinion. Like I would be okay if they didn't end up with anyone. Like if we had them as an example of like a mating bond that did not come to fruition because people, they talk about that throughout the series of Akatar, but there's no like real life examples of that. I'd be fine with it. I'd be fine if they did not end up together. <laughs> so Alex, Lucian loses like his bad. girlfriend and his mate and he just ends up alone. 
Alex is <laughs> maybe like, he has sad. a um, Hold on, so much. Much. We only have about 15 minutes until the book drops, so I'm just going to try oh. and... Um, I'm okay. just letting you know I'm going to close the other giveaway in about five minutes, so if you guys want to enter in that, it is on Slido, and the code is STARBORN. So you have about five minutes to enter in that. Um, right before I do our last-minute kind of theories and stuff uh, conversation... Um, there's one, obviously we talk a lot about crossovers in here. Um, someone asked a really great question about, do you think another series will be added to this multiverse? Because we do know that they are connected. Um, that has been made very clear with The Walking Dead, The Book of Breathings, Aelin. There's so many different things here. Um, do you think it is possible that we could potentially see another book that could add to this dynamic? I have so. thoughts. I am refraining. Yeah, I know. Me too. Um, I, think, I think that with my theories with the books that I said that I think there'll be more Crescent City books is because I feel like if we add a fourth book it might be too much I don't know I'm saying more Crescent City books not another series that's my thoughts like I'm just thinking a little bit Kingdom of Ash spoiler so heads up um but we've been talking so you should know that by now yeah um when aliens falling through the worlds we get a description of a couple different worlds yes and I yeah. feel like Sarah has set it up for the potential of other books being kind of tied in in that way without having to be more than just Easter eggs of like little hints here and there of the yeah. other series. It doesn't have to be a full like crossover. It can yeah. just be little. I mean, I've always, I've always said like, I don't think like Bryce is going to run into Reese or Aelin's going to see like Bryce. Like, I just don't think that's possible, but I do think uh, that it is very possible that we're going to see potentially new characters be introduced that are crossing over. It just makes a lot of sense to me. Yeah. I think, I'd, I think it's hard for Sarah and I to sit here and be like, we spent three hours on a crossover theory live. Like, we very clearly have thoughts that we do not have time for. So go over to Sarah's YouTube channel, yeah. watch the video. <laughs> I was going to say, it's hard for us because I, I know the two of us really want a crossover. And so, so it's bad. like, we, but I have like, so many people want these main characters to interact and I just don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. And, but I really, really do believe that she is leaning a certain way and I'm preparing myself for that because it just mm -hmm. makes a lot of sense. And I really want her to do it. So I'm hoping we do get to that point very soon. I want I want Fenris to just pop up in either Agatar or <laughs> Crescent City. That would be- I would not that hate more Fenris ever. It would be great no. if Fenris popped up and was like, look, I'm a good wolf. They're not all bad. Just like Danica. Like, that's what I want. Oh, no, yeah. watch it be Vaughn. <laughs> Oh God, stop. Oh, who is it? So Samantha, who helped me with the Crescent City notes, our headcanon is that Vaughn's the one that gave Bryce the tattoo. Oh, just because okay. where is he so you know why not just put him there <laughs> just you know pop him in a different universe um I, so I, so i i feel like before we get a fourth series we would at least see some sort of crossover between these main three so i think it's possible and she set it up where there can be more series if she wants there to be but it's a like a long ways off because yeah. there's still a lot of unfinished business with akatar and crescent city yeah I also think um, it's very, I don't think we will see another series until Akatar is wrapped up. So yeah. my guess is we will wrap Akatar up. Crescent City may kind of be left lingering potentially, or if Crescent City is the one that gets wrapped up first, um, I have a big hunch that it would be, we would return to Throne of Glass before we enter in another world. That would be I my guess. Do. I would love to visit the Throne of Glass characters again. Yeah, that's all I want. There's, there's. <laughs> of course there's. <laughs> There's, there's just a lot of world in that, and there's so much yeah. that we didn't even touch, which has kind of been the really incredible thing. And I feel that way, too, about Crescent City. Like, even when you guys open Earth and Blood, which, by the way, fun fact, it's same thing in Sky and Breath, it's a, just a map of Crescent City. And I'm like, I want to see a map of the entire world. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Rachel and I were talking about that because on our TikTok live right before jumping in, and we were talking about how much we want to see, like, all of these names that are mentioned – outside in the mountains and we're like where's the map like where what does it look like how yeah. far away is it it would be so nice to have that um oh i forgot we i forgot to do the this or that quiz so i'm gonna <laughs> i totally forgot so i'm gonna Thank go ahead that. and start it just so you guys can um do it uh, you can go ahead and enter um if you go on slido.com and you put in starborn um it will go ahead and uh add you to the poll um reminder this is set up as a quiz so it's gonna show like 
correct answers. There is no correct answer. Um, I'm just going to, it's really fun just to kind of see where everyone falls, um, just so you guys know. And I also did close the giveaway as well for the basket. So you guys um, are aware that those two have completely um, wrapped up. Um, okay, I'm just going to give everyone a few minutes to kind of um, go in there. Um, and then while everyone's doing this, the last thing we're going to do is uh, any last minute predictions before we all dive into Crescent City. Um, I will share mine as well, uh, which are literally my predictions before I started the book. Um, and they are still my predictions since I'm not very far in. So um, just so you guys know, you're not getting any spoilers from anyone here who has started it. These are full uh predictions um of everything that we feel so um just go ahead and give you guys a few minutes it looks like we have about 60 people in it so just keep on going um and i'll read them to you guys so you guys can just answer out loud um so don't feel like you have to join but um i joined i'm gonna win it's okay no. <laughs> yeah I yeah think i did it correctly but I'm gonna do that. you can't even win it can you no you yeah can. well the, the just i mean <laughs> if anyone's really in it for to win you'll know what the there's it's the same spot for the correct answer every time. Cause I was like, it's, it's just a poll. Like, I just want to see what people respond to. Um, I think we're going to get more theory on Bryce and Hunter are going to go all the way. And then we're going to learn about rune and Jezebel brunt. I love that. Uh, no bigger map, no bigger map world of throwing glass. I need, I agree. I agree. Um, I'm going to be holding my breath for that. Um, SJM is stretched thin right now. She is very stretched thin. With the um, show too, I mean that's just yeah. like there's so. I mean the series isn't finished. She has a show going. She's work. I mean the, I, it's crazy. And that's not even counting her personal life. She moved. You know what I mean? Like she just recently yeah. moved. And had a, a, a child, like a whole human being. So I, yeah, that's a lot. Well, well, she well that kid's older though. She had that kid like three years ago, but like still, it's a toddler okay. running around. It's a toddler. So oh my god. Really what, say, what do you mean a three year old? I was like, still, yeah. I was like, <laughs> wait. I'm like, but it is. It's a young. I mean, like that's a big thing to move your whole life across the country, and you have a toddler, and you have all you. There's a new TV show, and there's all these different surroundings. I mean, that's that's a lot to go through. On top of the fact that you have, you know, you're working with Ron Moore on a TV show, and like all these other things. So, yeah, there's a lot of different moving parts. Um, okay. All right. I'm going to go ahead and start this. Okay. First question, Starborn or Umbra Mortis? Starborn or Umbra Mortis? Which one would you pick? Meaning, would you rather be the Starborn or would you rather be the Umbra Mortis? <laughs> I agree. Avery, Umbra I Mortis. feel like you're Starborn. Ooh, Avery, oh, I, I definitely am, Starborn. but I would rather be Umbra Mortis. Yes. <laughs> Looks like Ooh, we're 50-50. Which is kind of, oh, looks like Starborn's kind of pulling in a little bit more. Ooh, Umbra Mort. I would rather be the Umbra Mortis, but I'm just saying. Me too. Um, Does that I, mean you get Hunt's lightning power? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Or you can glow. Those are your options. <laughs> we don't know the full scope of that, okay? Okay. You know, I feel like there's some stuff unsaid about that. Although it's, but it's hard to pick Starborn with what we know currently. Yes, I would agree. You know. Um, okay, so it looks like we're about, it's going to show the correct answer, which whatever. Um, all right, next question. Uh, a chimera or an otter? Which would you rather have? A, ch oh, a chimera. Definitely chimera. Yeah. Just because, like, the they're otter. protected. Are you kidding me? They're so cute. The otters are cute. Male. But chimera. Like, all they are is cute. Like, all they are is like, oh, you're cute to look at. Oh, cute. But like a chimera, chimera is like, like the perfect hybrid of a cat and a dog. And I want it. It brings you male. And yeah. it can bring other people male. male. Yeah. There's no universe that I wouldn't thing. choose otter. Like, I, Imagine I your not. Amazon packages being delivered. By an otter. An otter. And no, that's otter. not my pet. Yeah, no, yeah, like yeah. Uh, it's like most pet. people say. I'm not gonna have my pet deliver my Amazon packages, May. <laughs> Wait, would... unless it's like Hedwig, unless it's like Hedwig, he goes and he grabs it from the facility and yeah. brings it back to your house. Yeah, okay, I like that, but still, oh. that's cute Chimera. though. I like yeah. That. <laughs> um, okay, the correct answer. Well, there isn't one, so we'll the just correct say. answer. Uh, I got the Jezeb one right, yeah. Jezeba or Hypexia? Hypexia. What in what way? Yeah, in what way? Which one do you like more? Or what? Hypexia. Or more powerful? Hypexia, I think. Hypexia. I'm gonna say Jezeba. Jezeba. I think Jezeba's more like secretive and therefore I'm more interested in her, but I like yeah. Hypexia better. Yeah. I'm gonna go Jezeba yeah. because of what Avery said about it. Yeah. 
It's a it, she, well, right she, now. It's it, about a fifty-two forty-eight. So it's it's a pretty Jezebel's just pulling through. But I do think that they're both. We don't know the full scope of hypexia. So, okay. Next question. Sunball game or fangs and bangs? Which would you rather fangs watch? And bangs. fangs and bangs. Fangs and bangs. Absolutely. Oh, Actually, might be the only one that says sunball game. I said sunball. I no. don't know. No, sunball's pulling through. It's we have about 30 percent sunball, seventy fangs and bangs. Bangs. I think I like you guys fangs and bangs. Too hot to handle. Yes. Do you know too hot to handle? I just like I I live for that kind of show. Yeah, so, I yeah. think it's I think it's like the difference between like do you watch reality reality TV or would you rather watch you know something else? Yeah, that's fair. Like fangs and bangs is literally just like The Bachelor, and I hate The Bachelor. So well, no, they I, got fangs and they're banging. I like, no, no, fangs and bangs I, was a it was a drama TV show. Yeah, it was like a soap yeah. opera. Yeah, it's like yeah. A soap opera. Kardashians, even worse. No, no, that's like True Blood, opera. like True no, Blood, yeah. like a. Oh. Like actors, they're not reality TV. Yeah, so like, like days so of our lives. So yeah, watch. Yeah, like it's a telenovela. Yeah, that's what yes. I mean. yeah. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. I didn't um, have amnesia that you slept with my evil stepbrother. Exactly. Uh, it looks like Fangs and Bangs won with about seventy five percent. Okay, would you rather be in House of Earth and Blood or House of Sky and Breath? Sky and Breath. Sky and Breath. Earth and Breath. Sky and Breath. Who's in charge of Earth and Blood? Is that is that the Wolven, like the Sabine people? Yes, they're um, it's yeah. the Shifters. Okay, yeah. no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'd go. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want to be in Sky and Breath. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Join me to Earth and Blood. Yeah. Come over to the dark side. <laughs> yeah, Earth and Blood. Yeah, we 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 got all the cookies, the goods, you know. <laughs> Earth and Blood. We have cookies. <laughs> Um, well, anyways, it looks like we're the small percentage. What a shocker. 16% versus 84%. So obviously wow. y'all want to be, yeah, I know. Right. It's I feel fine. Like I'm in earth and blood in real life. So I want to be in sky and breath because that means I can fly. Exactly. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. With I can still fly if I'm in earth and blood. I'm a little confused why you think that I can't fly in earth and blood because yeah, it's it's a shifter. you didn't listen to the whole speech. I feel like I'm in earth and blood now. Right. And I feel like I could be more in sky and breath like it's like a fantasy it's like a thing okay all i'd right. rather okay. not be where Ooh. i can be right now well, the the are in earth and blood so that does track thank you uh, oh Griffin, wait does that mean you... i wouldn't be able to be a pigeon yeah so no. you have to be in earth oh, and blood. i want to be a <laughs> pigeon yeah you have to be in earth and blood uh, would you rather work at griffin antiquities or the fey archives Griffin no. Antiquities. Griffin Antiquities. Griffin Antiquities. Oh, the archives. I feel like the pay is so much better. Well, oh, I don't know. Well, pro I mean, I don't know. I feel like the books. The I mean, the Fay archives might pay better. No, I definitely think it does because Jessica she made bank, but she also didn't. Yeah, but Jessica has the Library of Parthos, which has The Walking Dead, and I would love to learn more about word marks, so I'd rather work there. But I see the advantage of the Fay archives. And I, I feel like, like there's so much like secrecy in the Griffin Antiquities. Yeah. Like the secret doors and stuff like that. And yeah. not to mention all the locks to keep you safe. <laughs> yeah. Um, I uh it's looking like Griffin Antiquities winning 84% over 16%. So there is to be able to wear a pretty necklace, honestly. Uh, okay. I'm only gonna do about one more just because I know we're coming up on time and I want to make sure we I'm so this. hopeful, guys. Please let yeah. me have this. <laughs> okay. Uh, Valbara versus Avalyn. Would you rather be a Valbara Fay or an Avalyn Fay? Avalyn, because it's thrown a glass. Avalyn Fay. Avalyn Fay. I'm convinced it's thrown a glass. I'm not, I'm not, I'm putting. We don't know enough about Avalyn. That's why that. I'm convinced because where else is the other Fays? They're, they're dwindling down. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> Go with the unknown. That seems fair. Mm -hmm. Into the unknown. That's right. Oh, Don't get me yeah. demonetized. Stop singing. Yeah. Stop singing. Don't get me demonetized. <laughs> Disney, no. you, you, you know Disney's going to come for this, so stop. You can be they say if you ever film a sex tape and you don't want it to go anywhere, just play Disney song in the background and they'll take it off the internet. Alex, you literally talked about Disney and then sex in the same sentence. <laughs> you probably should not be saying that. That's so smart, though. That's genius. <laughs> Good to know, you know. Okay, would you rather have a Manny or a Petty? Because we know how Bryce always likes to get her Manny. nails done. Manny or Petties? Manny. I'm a Manny. But look, Petty I lost her nail. Oh, no. Did you get your Sky and Breath nails? Oh, I didn't yeah, get they are. 
Let me see. Are Wait, you we close? need them closer to the camera. So are they press-ons yeah. or like like she she does them off of your yeah. fingers, right? No, so fingers. she so she does the they're they're like acrylics, but they're they're it's like a combo essentially. Um mm. so this nail, you guys uh this one has thunder so you probably can't tell the the little lightning and thunder and then that one has the crescent moon in the center wow. look at you beauty there. influencer i know except <laughs> then it's like i miss it looks like i'm missing a finger you know <laughs> what's up guys How you yeah doing? right exactly um uh, most of you guys picked manny love that um okay and then i think we're i'm like there's I'm oh here we go this will be the last one would you do the drop or would you not do the drop Drop or drop. no drop? Drop. Drop. Somebody's not to. Okay, well, I guess no one's choosing not to. But I was. Yeah, I was, what? I was curious. Yeah, I was curious. Let me just stay weak and frail and mortal. I'll. Yeah, let's do it. Weak, weak um, and frail. So, yeah, my nails for someone who was asking, they are. They are hard gel. Um, I will never do acrylics again. This is the only way I would want my nails done. Same. Yeah, hard gel because they're so they're for not to go down the nail rabbit hole, but this is a Crescent City and Bryce would approve. Um, they are like <laughs> acrylics, um, but it is a better way to have your nails removed. Your nails are wait, like are you safer. talking about gel X? Um, no, they, they're literally called hard gel nails, so it's it's the same huh? process as acrylics, except um, instead of the drilling happening on my nails, they happen on the physical nail, like the physical thing um and so you only keep them on for two sets so this set and then they'll be they'll like saw it and then they'll be taken off uh for the third set so you'll see these i like that you say saw it i just imagine well that's what i always think mm -hmm. so you'll see these nails will turn into the from blood and ash ones and then after from blood and ash uh it will be a whole new nail and so what usually i still have not read a, a, a site a site you have a to site. read a site before you read the word yeah, yeah you should definitely read that like there's no question about it you have to read a site i wish i didn't have to because i really would have, I just want to jump into the fourth book oh Gosh. no it's I, just, I didn't want to read it either taylor and i really liked it yeah so. no okay. i didn't want to read it and i blew through it in a day or a half um okay i'm gonna stop the trivia and i'm just gonna read some of these just so you guys uh see them um hold on whoops does anybody have it on their kindle yet no, I, mean, no. I, have, I, have, I have people searching, so don't worry. Um, okay, uh, gray wings or white wings? Gray. 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 Anyone white? But, I mean, I kind of like white. So. That's fine. I would pick white wings. Yeah, yeah, but then you have to serve in the t tiari or whatever it's called. Oh, no, you have to serve in the... No, no, it's not even that. It's the... Uh, the Assyrian Guard. The Assyrian Guard. Thank you for that one. I'm getting yeah. them confused. It's okay. Uh, death by rifle or death by lightning? Lightning. Lightning. What? Wait, oh, death, death by? Mm -hmm. Yeah, would you rather die Wait, the way Micah whoa. died or die the way that uh, Sandriel died? Oh. Where are they, shoot where are they shooting no. me, though? By Micah's way, for sure. Sandriel yeah, like, suffered like, right. Oh, like, Wait, Mike 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 getting a Mike rifle shot dead. to the face? Yeah. But then oh, you're gone. Yeah, right gone. gone. That's so immediate. Like, that'd be so, way better. Yeah, no. so, That's an easy pick. It's like some people might have gotten theirs on their Kindle. I, it, oh, by the way, if you pre-ordered it, you'll get yeah. it first. If instead of so, if if someone pre-ordered it, it sh it'll I appear in your it. email. Um, I'll keep my email open. Okay. Uh, whiskey or mirth root? Are you a drinker or doing something mirth else? Root. Whiskey. I'd rather have a glass of wine, so I'm gonna take whiskey. But just to, yeah. I said whiskey because Bryce drinks a lot of whiskey, so that's just to clarify. So what's the equivalent of tequila? Yeah. Whiskey. <laughs> yeah, because that's it's like, like drinks versus drugs, you know. Um, would you, Bryce or Danica? Which one do you relate more to? A uh, Danica. Danica. Bryce. 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 Yeah. Bryce. Either. Uh, people are getting it now. Neither uh, one of them. Okay, old uh, whiskey, whiskey, wine. Love it. Uh, faded mates or marriage by choice? Faded, faded mates. Mate. Faded mates. I don't like meeting new people on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, star sword or Luna's horn? Star sword. Luna's oh. horn. Oh, no, wait. Yes, Luna's horn. Oh, my Luna's God. Luna's horn. Star sword. 
now that I know Luna's what horn. it is. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can travel to other realms. Luna's horn. Yeah. Well, we don't know yeah. if she can travel, but she can open. Listen, Avery, your theory is complete garbage. So you can. My theory is not way. garbage. I don't want to hear it. it. Nesta's sword with the dagger? No. Yeah, she believes really? that the star sword and Azrael's dagger are tied. She's pulling out, grasping at straws. I, not, I am not. What? Fire. Fire. Lost. That okay. totally Such makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. Made okay. out of obsidian. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll do the theories last. Hold on. Uh, let's see. I'm mad. I will you, do it. Walking you, Dead or the Book of Breathings? Which one do you want? This is the last question. Walking Dead or the Book of Breathings? Book of Breathings. Walking, Walking Dead. dead. Um, what do I get from each of them? Okay, the Book of Breathings is the one that put the cauldron together. The Walking Dead is the one that taught Aelin how to use all the word marks and open a bunch of portals. The yeah. Walking Dead. <laughs> the walking if I already dead. if I already have the horn, I don't need it, so I'll take the other one. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, Sarah's booking Thank a one way you. ticket to Rowan. Um, excuse me, the horn <laughs> may not always work, but the but if you know how to draw a word mark, homegirl can go anywhere. Well, if I'm in the no, Crystal City no. universe, I'll just Google it. Yeah. But the mm. point is, is that The Walking Dead was a forbidden book. That's why it was in the library of Parthos. So they don't know the word language because the Asteri keep all that knowledge secret. So you do want The Walking It's not on the internet. Put it on the internet. Beef stew. Stew. I'm going <laughs> to... Beef stew. <laughs> okay. Uh, last round. Any... Um, right before, because I know some people are getting the books, so I'm going to wrap this up really quickly. Um, any theories before you go in? I'll say mine really, really quick. Um, I still think Bryce and Hunt aren't going to be mates. Um, I... Bryce and Hunt aren't going to be mates is one of mine. The Avil and Faye are going to be heavily involved in this story. And I really, really, really hope that they're the throne of glass Faye. I'm like really crossing my fingers for that. Um, our Bryce and Hunt mates. Is he? Um, I'm okay if they're mates. I just need it to make sense. That's for me. Like right now it doesn't make sense. So I just need it to make sense. Um, I think Bryce and Hunt are not going to, something's going to happen and they're going to not be together and it's going to break my heart. But I do think they're end game. And I do not think Adis is a love interest. I think he's like a guy that just has a ton of knowledge and is either going to share it or move the pieces around the board. Um, and then I don't care what happens to Rune, he just better not die. I just really hope there's no miscommunication trope and like that's why they break up. Because yeah. I will t burn my book at that there's point. There's too much else going on to jump into that BS. Who do you right think's there? the first one that's going to want to join the Rebellion? Because that was on the back of the summary was that the Rebellion was going to get involved in them. So do you think it's going to be Bryce or Hunt? Bryce. I think it'll be Hunt. Bryce. I think, it's, Bryce. I think Hunt's going to be like so checked out because of his mistakes in the last book that I think it's going to be Bryce. That's what I think yeah. too. I think he'll be nervous to do it, but Bryce will eventually like not for well force him to honestly at that point. <laughs> I love it. Bryce and Hunter Endgame, I won't be taking any criticisms. Uh, yeah. As you should. Stay in your ground. Uh, I totally agree, though, that I don't think Adis is a love interest at all. He's like a father, fathery figure in my mind. Yeah. Not, I mean, I don't think like he's fathery, but like I don't think he's going to be a love interest. No. Came to her as a cat when she was 13, like as a because that was more comfortable for her. Yeah. He didn't scare her. And then I feel like when they're talking with Hunt and he's like, Come find me after you do the drop. Yeah. And it just felt like more like. A, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, this was a theory I had when I did the second read through. I think something's Bryce, something's going to happen to Bryce in terms of like the Autumn King is going to try and sell her out like uh, yeah. because he's going to use her as like a marriage pawn because he did it immediately yeah. with Rune. He's going to do it for Bryce. So I, was too. I don't know who the guy is, but good luck because she got the Umbra Mortis on her side. So good luck, guy. Mm -mm. The other thing, here's a theory I kind of have now just having finished my reread today oh, okay. um yeah uh danica was working on something in the labs that we don't know about and i feel like that's going to be some a heavy part of this book is doing more research into what was on the drive mm -hmm. that uh she got from danica and learning more of what she was doing at uh redner's industries yeah oh my god somebody, somebody said Adis will be like Bryce's fairy godmother. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Adis is the surreal of Crescent City. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. I would agree with that. Um, I'm still up for him being a love interest. No. No. Um, Even I, if it's just to piss you off. 
<laughs> yeah, I, well, I, I get that. In a way, I don't want Bryce and Hunt to be together just to because I'm a petty person and just for certain people, it would just make me laugh. But I, I genuinely do want them to be together. I don't think it's possible. Um, yeah, the uh, someone said something. Where is it? Oh, the other thing, too, is because I was very suspicious in the first book about the uh, book being divided in four layers of hell. I think this book is going to be divided in three, and we're going to get to the all the layers of hell. Because there is some intense right. layers okay. of hell like, conversation. I'm ready to meet the Star Eater. People are saying they got it. Oh, I have the book. <gasps> right there, your Amazon order. I have it. I, I don't just got, got it. I, I got, got it mine. <laughs> I don't have it on the Kindle yet. Oh. It's like it's coming on here. It's on my Kindle cloud, but not on my actual Kindle. It should come at the same time. <laughs> Refresh your thingy. Yeah, Refresh. check your check your email. I'm refreshing so much. It literally it's just arrived email. one minute ago. On no, mine, mine it's just gonna, arrived. It's gonna take a second, but your email is the one that'll tell you first. Yeah. Okay. Um. Cool. Yeah. Audible. For anyone who's wondering about Audible, it should come uh tomorrow, like tomorrow morning when you wake up. It's usually like around three, four o'clock in the morning. So for anyone ah! who's wondering, um, May, did you get yours? Okay. Oh we can, no. We can stay up and read it to you. Don't worry. <laughs> May, why is yours time. always so delayed? What is with Canada? Yeah. Um, okay, friends, uh, let me go ahead. I'm going to pick a winner for our first trivia giveaway, just so if someone wanted the Kindle edition, um, I'm just going to do like an eeny, meeny pick. Ooh, let's do, tell me when to stop. 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 Ooh, okay, wait, that was, hold on. It was, the, it was the email, so I had to go up at the top to see the name. Um, okay, uh, Talia Blom, B-L-O-M, she won the $25 Amazon giveaway. Um, so I will send your your gift card to your email. Um, so if you, I'll go ahead and do that right now. And then the winner, I'll just go ahead and announce it right now. The winner of the uh, view results. Uh, tell me when to stop. Stop. Wait, it's the same. Let's do it again. Stop. Okay. Uh, Shay Dull uh, at iCloud.com. She was the winner of the basket. So I will go ahead and email you um, and get all your um, address information so I can send you that uh, stuff over uh, this week. We need confetti. Woo. Yeah, right. Woo. Um, okay, let me go ahead and write these down so I have it. Uh I'm just putting them in the mod chat so I don't lose them. Can we acknowledge how ridiculous the map looks on the Kindle? I mean, what is this? It is very tiny. Yeah, very it's not great. It's a no. I mean, but like on the phone, it's. <laughs> Yeah, it's a struggle. Okay, friends. Well, I appreciate everyone for watching and hanging out with us tonight. I hope you guys had fun. Um, this is always just like a really fun little celebration. Um, I will, if you're on my newsletter or you're on my Discord, you guys will get notification at some point this week in regards to when our spoiler conversation is, which if you know me, um, I will happily give you what the past week has been like for me because um, thank you again to the Elreal side of the fandom for spoiling me. Um, uh, that Yeah. So, uh, and uh, I can't wait for everyone to read it and talk. Avery and I can high five each other. Um, so uh, here, I'll do it like this because I think you're on this I side. Don't know, I don't know what I look like on your screen. Here, here, but you're just right ahead, here for right me. Right here, right here. Go. High five. Okay. Yeah, we went. Okay, good. Uh, we did it. We did it. It, worked, it. it worked on my screen, so it, it looked like we Yeah, yeah, that's all that mattered. Um, yeah. Oh, for anyone wondering, the CC Leaks channel on Discord, I'll turn it into the Star Wars channel. Don't worry. I'll change the name and move it to a fandom side. You guys can chat about Star Wars. They've been talking Star Wars instead of CC Leaks, which is like the cutest thing ever. Um, okay. Uh, are we supposed to? Oh, yeah. Pay attention to the prologue very, yeah. very carefully. Okay, you're gonna be bored like I was. Don't be bored. It's very important. I was nervous for a second that I was re reading the wrong book. No, you're not. <laughs> Pay as long. It's long. It's long. It's a, it is not a short prologue, y'all. Yeah. Don't worry, it'll connect in chapter 15. Have fun. Okay, bye everyone. I'm gonna switch the screen over.
Let me. I got it, by the way. It's working now. Oh, good. I've good. never had like two books on the same thing. So I didn't know if I clicked on Crescent City, the second book would be hidden underneath that. Hold on a second. Here, wait. Can I? We're offering. Give me one second. 